Uh, we're going to call it Ealing Spirit, all right? <laughs> it's an Ealing Spirit. Um, oh, well. It's currently over here. It's ironically yeah. exactly the same color as Rook. Um, brilliant. <laughs>Good evening. Uh, welcome along to uh, Drathnor Keep. Um, Kira's going to sit really still for a second. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, welcome along uh, to episode 9 of chapter 3 of Drathnor Keep. Um, Jamal will not be partaking this evening as he forgot to get out of bed. Um, so, we thought we'd go on without him. A uh, quick recap of last session. Uh, we are exploring the great uh, citadel of Shurashai, uh, attempting to unveil some of its secrets and effectively rescue Selim. Um, we dealt with the lower floor, or the medium, the ground floor if you like. Um, you'd found out that you need a particular necklace to unlock, uh, or at least to work, the gems in the basement uh, where you believe Selim is being held. And you know that Lady Fury wears one of these necklaces. You're hoping that there are there is another. And for that reason, you are upstairs um, looking for a necklace and possibly clearing some of the chambers. Um, as Lady Fury has been known to animate the uh, castle itself. Uh, downstairs, uh, Milawan and Vrax and Jankwe and Iona and Alamor attempt to hold back the goblin, uh, the goblins, the gargoyles. Um that keep reanimating whilst the rest of you explore the castle. Uh, you had just gone up the stairs, taken a short rest, and today I have playing with me, Cal. Hi, I'm Cal, and I play Brother Olori Slade, Water Domain, nope, Water Janasi, Priest in Priest of the Peace Domain, and absolutely able to speak. Cool. <laughs> the Water Domain, Peace Domain, Priest Domain, Priest. <laughs> Got it. Uh, I have Alora. Uh, hi, I'm Alora. I'm playing Kenna and also sometimes Jankway tonight. Okay. Um, she is a Fire Genasi Drake Warden Ranger. Mm -hmm. I have Matt. Hi, I'm Matt. I am playing Rook, who is an Orc Barbarian and possibly a good old Bonego Battle Axe. I have Kira. Hello, I'm Kira, and I'll be playing Killian, the uh, Eldrin. Eldrin Monk? Wow, I lost everything in there. Uh, but I'm also playing uh, Iona tonight. Is the way of the astral self, Monk. And all the other subclasses combined. Um, I have Josh. Hi, I'm Josh. I will be playing Maverick, who is a human death touch sorcerer. And I'll also be stumbling around Alamar's skill set as well. Um... For reference, we may well not be playing any of those extra NPCs today, as, uh, yes, um, I, I do not fancy controlling Leobald in combat and the boss and three NPCs. Um, so, <laughs> there's a possible chance we won't get to it, but if we do, it's going to be a train mark and we'll enjoy it. Um, so, uh, more specifically, you got yourselves to the top of the stairs to find a locked door in front of you. Um... You have with you Jankwe and Bonego. Uh, Jankwe has taken a look at the door and established that although it can't be unlocked, it can probably be bashed in. Eventually. I like the sound of that. Wait. Um, can we investigate the door a little bit, just to be sure? Okay. What would you like me to roll? Or um, are you seeing whether it's trapped, or are you attempting to uh, establish a way of opening it? Um, I want to check if it's trapped. Uh, okay. Um, give me an investigation check, please. Not my strong suit. It's only changing the DC. Yep, uh, it's ten. <laughs> ten? Um, there's no obvious traps. Um, Jankway, of course, being a very experienced thief, has probably also established that he doesn't think it's trapped. Um, but the problem is, is the locking mechanism seems to have rusted shut. Um, so that's why he can't pick it. Um, but What's the door made out of? Uh, metal. Somebody mentioned earlier freezing a lock and breaking... Hmm. Anybody got the capability? 
I think it might be the guy who had the freezing spell as well, though. And unfortunately, he didn't turn up. Um, anybody else got the ability? <laughs> uh, I think I can freeze things now. Um, it does cost your life, though, doesn't it? <laughs> well, here's the question. When you gave me the spell, when, oh, when related to this, you gave me the spell Chill Touch. Is it still supposed to be necrotic? Chill Touch is necrotic damage? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, it's a ghostly skeleton hand that touches you. No, you can use it with cold damage. You can't use it with necrotic damage, even if you want to. Um, yes, uh, go ahead, and <laughs> go ahead and chill touch the door. That's perfect. Um, I will say that that is going to make the lock a lot less effective and a lot easier to shatter. It's not going to make it pickable, nor is it going to open the door. Aside and sort of gesture, one of the larger party members. Rook, I think this at, one's on you. You looking at me? We're looking at you. I just need a damage roll. Alrighty. Sixteen. Okay. Um, you're gonna have to keep going. Um, you think it might take a couple more hits? I suggest you use uh, Leovold as a battering ram. <laughs> that's, an, uh, that's another, help him out another as well. twelve. Another twelve. Okay. Um, and finally, as you go to make the third hit, please. Shit! Hold on a second. Sorry, I've closed the encounter. Thirteen. I was gonna say I was gonna prep a shot in case this door opens up and there's more enemies on the other side, like where it was downstairs. Okay, I should allow that. Let me just scroll back through my uh, 86 pages of notes to get back to where I was. Because I accidentally closed it. Excuse me. Okay. Um, as you hit the door the third time, you hear a sort of a sound of screeching metal and creaking. Um, you will need to roll initiative, please. I will that sound Kenner's wasn't coming from the door, right? That's into it. No, no, the door is... I can't uh, come behind the door. Yes. Uh, Damn it, man. Page. Yes, I can. Uh, okay, uh, can you initiative, please? Oh, that's cool. It rolls into the ND Beyond now. It always has. The initiative? Yeah, mine has never rolled into the combat tracker before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Mine always, I always see everyone's. Uh, yeah, no, I don't mean it comes up on the game log. I mean it's appearing in the initiative boxes on the combat tracker now. Um, so that's, no, that, yeah, the, the combat tracker is out of, out of alpha finally, so they added That's that. wicked. Uh, Kenny, your initiative, please. 16. Okay. Um, if you have a character uh, who has Jankwe, uh, Kenna, and uh, Rook, um, they uh, the initiatives for Bonego and um, fifteen for Jankwe. Fifteen for Jankwe. Uh, sixteen for Bonego. 16. Okay, uh, they're gonna go at the same time and they're gonna be attached to Kenna. Okay. Um, so as soon as Kenna goes, they will go. However, um, as you find yourself in a battle, let me pull up the image I am looking for. The question is, where have I put the... Are they in here? Yes, they are. Okay. Fantastic. Do, 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 do. Uh, can we have some battle music, please, uh, Kira, if you wouldn't mind? I can't open that up right now. I didn't realize we we're going to be in combat quite this early. There is also a dog partaking in this combat. Uh, I'm quite certain I can hear it. <laughs> Does anybody need to attend to said dog? That is, that is my said dog. Uh, do you need to deal with it or are you okay? I'll be back in literally 30 seconds. Cool. I just, I'm quite happy to give you the time. It doesn't sound very happy. <laughs> oh, I don't need four. Mm. 
I'll put the pulse in. You'll work it out pretty quickly. Um, Josh, I noticed that Maverick's not full health. Did you take your short rest before the... at the end of last session? Yeah. A short rest? I've, I'm we had a short rest at the end of... Hill. Okay, we had a short rest at the end of last session. Um, I think, oh, Rook and... Uh, Kenna, you don't have max HP because your max HP was reduced, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, but I could regain a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just two off my map. Okay, yeah, cool. I just, uh, I just see that it's not full, because it's in colour right now. Um, wicked. Right, okay. Uh, Kenny, you had practice shot. As you hit the door the last time, Rook, the door bursts outwards towards, uh, the room. And as soon as you look into the room, you see three enemies. You see, a uh, what appears to be a construct of iron, and then two suits of armour that appear to be animated, one either side. That's E1, 2, and 3. Uh, Kenna, which one would you like to shoot with your prepared shot? Uh, the one in the center. Okay. Uh, that is the large golem-like structure. Uh, Ooh, that's a really bad roll. Uh, 17 to hit. Yep. I need you to split your damage up, please. Sorry, what did you say your hit roll was? Because you said 17, didn't you? I did say 17. Yeah, and you also said you're attacking the creature in the middle. I'm sorry, that's actually going to miss. Um, yeah, that's why yeah. it was a uh, two. So I, was, uh, I was putting it on something else, and then I suddenly realized what you were attacking. Okay, cool. Maverick, you're up. You didn't want my initiation roll? <laughs> your initi uh, no, it rolls into... That's what I was trying to explain. It rolls into oh, my yeah, combat right, tracker right. now. Are, are Benego and them here, or are they not in this way? Uh, yes, Benego and... Jankwe are here. Everybody else is not. Um, okay. Is Benego one okay. or...? Uh, Benego is one. Okay. Um, cool. Okay, uh, the square is five, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Uh, not, no, not really. Uh, to be fair, that is two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, they're two feet each. Okay. This is a small room. You can, yeah, get a range of everything. I don't know why you're, like, hiding in the... Well, it's clearly where you were hiding last time. Um, but, yeah. Uh, oh. What the fuck was that? There we go. Oh, what are you doing, my friend? What a great question. Um... Three enemies. I came out not using all my other spell slots because we clearly are not going to get a long rest. Um, okay. <laughs> then I will. Uh... Um. Do the do any of the enemies count as undead? No. Oh man. Um. Okay. That's um. Fine. Yeah. I guess I'll just. Yeah. Okay, I'm sure about him. Yeah. That's why I'm going to. Does a 21 hit uh, the E1? Yeah, have I just discovered that Chill Touch is also not a touch spell? No, sure. it's 120 foot range. So okay, uh, Alari, yours is also a touch spell. I'll rewrite it sometime. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, Maverick. He's meant to. I thought it was like an icy touch that he can use with his hand. Um. So, okay, no, carry on, Maverick. You can use your chill touch in there. E1, 21 yeah. hits. Yes. Um, okay, cool. Okay, yeah, cool. that's a nine necrotic. He ending. is minorly injured. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. And, uh, Maverick, make a deck save, please. I'd rather not. Um, um that's okay. I need a, a deck save from Maverick and Leovold and Killian and Jankwe. Yeah, again, I'd rather not. <laughs> uh, what did you get? A nat one for a four. Cool. Anybody so who got less than a 14, uh, you are knocked prone and you take... Eight bludgeoning damage. 
as beneath you, the carpet ruckles and comes to a life. Where's the carpet? Okay. Yes. Living carpet. Uh, Leobald is up. Um, and he is going to set fire to the magic carpet. Doesn't like that. Um, it's 27 to hit. So 11 fire damage. Um, cool. Uh, the rug is severely burnt. It appears very susceptible to fire. Um, tell him. You're up. You say, you say Killian? Yeah. It's still like you said Helen, and I was like, well, it's Helen. <laughs> yeah, oh, fuck Helen, man. <laughs> Where the fuck's Helen? Get her on this call. <laughs> Make her move. Did you take Helen? <laughs> just hair running at mail. <laughs> Killian. Um, uh, on my turn, um, I'm right next to it. Okay, great. How, how big is this area? What, is the, this, the rug? And then um, where we are. Oh, the, uh, the squares we, are two we foot. The, stairs. the squares okay. are two foot. But it's, it's, a, it's a narrow, it's a narrow, like. Uh, there is a doorway where Rook is standing. Okay. Uh, on which um, note, actually, sorry, I probably should have moved. Um, I'm just going to do this in retrospect. Ken, I'm afraid you're moving. Um, I completely forgot that there was a doorway in the middle of the room. Yeah, because um, I remember we were on a staircase. So I was like, a, is it like a... a thing oh, no, no, we got to, we, we were at the top of the staircase. We were just oh. opening the door. Um, but yeah, okay. um, so, cool. Okay. Um, seeing, yep. seeing the rug, I'm going to use a bonus action to uh, ignite my blade. Mm -hmm. And I will take... Two swings at the carpet. I think you'll take uh, one. Just oh, one. <laughs> uh, if you're if you've ignited it with flame and you're doing fire damage, yep. um, uh, yes, that's twenty to hit. It, yes, it's dead. Uh, okay, great. Um, you killed it without doing double damage. Yeah, very dead. Okay, e four down. After the, <laughs> great after the slash, I'm going to um, immediately uh, dash one for it and flip over Rook to to head to the e two. Beautiful. Um, over Rook is a tight fit, but you manage it, and you're going up to E2, the large iron, uh, sort of yeah. construct, as opposed to the two animated sets of armor, yes? Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, and I'm going to slash this one as well, just bring the sword mm -hmm. right up, cross coming from the floor. Uh, ooh, 26. Apple head. Nice. Is your sword still ignited? Yes, it is. I will need your damage split, if you don't mind. Okay, so 17 slashing damage. Mm -hmm. Uh, your sword is magical as well, correct? Yes. And okay. so uh, that's six definitely fire works. damage. Um, you notice the fire? It's not doing what not you hope in. it would. Um, as okay. you see the, the at the center of its chest, you see sort of a, a sort of red flame begin to sort of sink into its body, and then you see some of the, the scratch that you just made on its armor, and sort of disappear. Okay. So I'll uh, flip the blade and turn. Um, I'm not sure if you let me speak. I'll turn around. Fire's not the way with this one. Yep, yeah, that's fine. And my Sorry, Kenna. That's really going to fuck you over. Kenna, it's your turn. <laughs> uh, was there enough space for Shikara to have stayed summoned? Uh, yes, there's plenty of space for Shikara to stay summoned. Let me get a counter. Okay, uh, my Oh, fucking no, she's not over there. Um, Hunter's Mark uh, E1. And then... Uh, Hunter's Mark E1. Yep, you're going to need to take a step forward for that. Um, just bear in mind that there is, yes, there is like a foot wide doorway in the, um, in front of Rook. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, so you're just going to sort of angle over his shoulder, right? Yeah. Cool. Right. I don't really have a way of marking the door, sorry. It's a 20 and a 28 to hit. That's hit E1. Yep, that's hitting. Both. Okay, the first one is 16 piercing to cold. Cold? Oh. Ooh, I think cold damage. Uh, my bow does cold damage. Oh, of course it does, yes. It's the it's Shikar that does the fire damage, isn't it? Yeah, so three points of fire, which is reduced. Uh, and, um, no, that's not reduced, only one. Oh. Um, the E1 is dead from that. Oh, cool. Wow, okay. It's only E2 that has been healed by fire damage. Uh, who is the large iron construct. Um, the two animated armors have not been healed by it, and one's dead. And the rug really didn't like fire, and he died. My second shot will go to E2, then. Okay. Um, taking a er, step or so sorry, to the left. E3. Um, yep. Um, 18 piercing damage, yep. 4 cold damage. Uh... 
and that's it because my hunter's mark is not moved yet okay absolutely fine um and that brings us to this large metal golem well you're in a convenient place killing aren't you <laughs> um oh hold um, on let me roll this to everybody just see. a double oh, check goodness. you had said jankway goes after me oh uh yes me. um as does benego sorry yeah um so it's uh jankway first um e1 uh, he's number two isn't he NPC two yep there he is cool all right is he if he bonus action kind of hides and ducks through legs and stuff he can hide behind anyone sort of... and get an yeah, advantage okay. Gonna, I mean, um, stand behind your car, that's gonna be fantastic. He's gonna <laughs> shoot over at E3. Yep. Uh, with a 21 to hit. That'll hit. Uh, and, oh, sorry, was he hidden? Yep. So that's advantage. Yep. Um, so he does get sneak attack. Mm hmm. This is the biggest waste of a rogue sneak attack damage I've ever yep. seen. 33. He's, okay, he's got two hit points. Yep. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> um, E3's dead. Uh, yep, cool. Uh, that brings us to... Uh, that's a bonus action and an action. Did he want to move? Uh, just uh, ducking behind the doorway. Just so he's to the side yep. of the wall. Um, Jankway? Uh, Banego, sorry. Banego um, is Benego's up. Banego's going to run up to the right of E2. Right next Smash to Smash that motherfucker. Uh, advantage. Flanking. Good old battle axe. Mm -hmm. That'll hit. That is a... Right. Which, uh, which damage type do I use? Because there's two. Uh, the big one. So... He's got it in two hands. He's great weapon fighting. That is 15 damage. Mm -hmm. There you go. Bash again. Yes, you will. That'll hit. Uh, that'll miss. That'll miss. Sorry. That'll miss. He's got one more attack. It's a 28 to that'll hit. Four. 11 damage. Cool. Uh, that concludes turn. Fantastic. Yep. Um, as we were saying, this should now appear for all of you guys. Um... Actually, you know what? He's yeah, he's fine like that. Um, he hits once with his left fist. Uh, He's at disadvantage. Okay, uh, that was a thirty-two. That okay. one's a twenty-three. Okay. Does twenty-three hit you? Mm -hmm. Nineteen bludgeoning damage. Okay. He then takes his sword with his right hand. No he's... more, no more disadvantage here. Oh. No more disadvantage? Yeah, because okay, he hit fine. me, so it caused the space and, turns off. Okay, but 15 is not going to hit you anyway. Nope. Nope. Okay, uh, Brother Alari, you're up. Okay. Uh, emboldening Bond, which should cav cover Maverick, Killian, uh, Rook, and Kenna. Mm -hmm. And then I'll throw Sanctuary on Maverick. Maverick, Killian, Rook, and... Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'm trying to... Killian's is an LU. It's very confusing. Right. Um, I haven't got a new one yet. Um, and, uh, sorry, Sanctuary on... On Maverick. Okay, that works. Uh, Rook, you're up. I'm running to the left, and I'm bashing. Oh, fuck me, I'm about to move not your picture. Raging, I'm about to move your picture. That's not, not what we're going for right now. Uh, yep, uh, advantage. Which you're gonna need, advantage. Oh, first attack misses. Sick. We'll try again. Right, that hits. That does hit. No regret, though. Nice of you to join me, Rook. I was a little tired from breaking that door. <laughs> Oh, I rolled two six. That is eighteen damage. Oh, plus a one d four psychic. So it's four psychic, eighteen slashing, and that is it. No fire damage. 
No, good plan. Uh, I think good it's plan. smart that I don't do that. <laughs> um, does that conclude your turn? I, was, I literally picked up the dice to roll you said you, put it down. You said you're not raging. Uh, did you have a I'm... different bonus action? Uh, no, I'm, my turn's done. Oh, okay. You're just uh, saving the rage. Save the rage. Yep. Uh, Maverick, you're up. I have limited use of that if we want to rest. Um, okay. Uh, for reference, no, Matt, the golem is looking wounded. Was it is Bolden Bond a D4? Sorry? Yeah, it's a D4. Yeah. Oh, you need a 4 on your D4, my friend. I've, I've just realized a great mistake. I didn't roll my D4 on the first attack I missed. Um, you wouldn't have made any difference, Rook. That's it. my turn. Yeah. Oh, also, um, I don't have the mental capacity to describe spells. So when I say pew pew and wave my wand around, can you all just like close your eyes and imagine and big waves of dark necrotic <laughs> magic and spirits and black flames? And I'll do my best to participate. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Leovold has realized this uh, fight is possibly a, requires a little more than the lack of effort he put in earlier. Um, okay, uh, that's a deck save. Where the hell is my encounter? Here we go. That's a one. Brilliant. Uh, Leobold, chain lightning, go. It's 41 lightning damage. Brilliant. That's more like it. Okay. The enemy is severely wounded. K uh, Killian, you're up. Okay. Um, well, I've been seeing... severe, severely wounded might be pushing it, actually, to be fair. Mm -hmm. But yes, it's damaged. Okay. Seeing as everything that's uh, going, I'm going to flip the, flip the blade, and as I do, it'll... Um, as I sheathed it, the fire will just exit out for me, and mm -hmm. the heat will just blast out, and I'm going to just fisty cuss with it as I look at it. It reminds me of, a, you know, the normal dummy I used to train with. Do your hands um, count as magical attacks? I believe so, with these gloves you gave yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I, I think they do anyway, anyway as a monk by anyway, now. I'm monk, yeah. yeah, by now. I just wanted to double check. Yeah, cool. Because otherwise you're going to be doing uh, zero damage instead of healing it, which is slightly better, but not much. Uh, 23 to hit the first That'll hit. Uh... <coughs> you're going analog on me. Huh? You're going analog on me. Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay. Uh, six, the 16 is not going to hit for that one, for the second one. No, the 16 is not. Okay. Let me get my first hit here. Oh, I see. The damage is getting... Yep, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, nine points bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. I'll spend a... Uh... I'm going to try and go for a standing strike. Oh, okay. Probably not going to work because mm -hmm. he is a golem. Is it paralysis? Stunned. It's stunned. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, it's not paralysis. Stunned safe. That. Yeah. Well, otherwise, I wouldn't even need to make the save. Uh, 23. Yep, that is a success. I'm gonna burn a key point uh, as a bonus action. Uh, flurry of blows. Yep. And I'll do it from here right now. I'm just gonna get easier. That's alright. Ah, that's a miss. Not a problem. Uh, you are rolling with advantage, yeah? Oh, not for the. Okay, so that changes things. Hold on. Okay, you're all flanking. Okay. So I'll so take the, the 28 one... and okay. one more roll. Uh, me. The hit. Yeah, so I think. 18. 18. Uh, 18 will miss. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, use my emboldening bond on this. Okay. Um, that is a four. Cool. So both okay. of them will hit. So, mm -hmm. Okay. Eight bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. Seven bludgeoning damage. And... Yep. Pretty I'll spend one key point to try and still strike it. It's probably futile, but I'll try it. It's not actually that futile. It's okay. stunned. Nice. <laughs> it's only got a plus five. It's nothing major. Um, uh, Kenna, you're up. There's Enemy severely wounded. And stunned. Do you auto hit when it's stunned? Or do you just roll with advantage? That's a good question. I know you auto crit if you hit, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm just know. looking to see. Uh, attack rolls have advantage, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you hit, you crit. That's the one, right? Um, okay, so 23 to hit. Yep. And a lot more. Yep, and it's a crit. <laughs> so I'm rolling your damage dies accordingly. Is 
No, not with stun, no. Oh, not with stun, that's only when no, it's no. held? It says uh, attack rolls against a creature type advantage. The creature is automatically fails strength and dexterity saving throws, and it can't speak. I think speak you're thinking of paralyzed. Para yeah, paralysis. Yeah, that is paralysis. Yeah, yeah I think so. I think okay, it's fine. paralysis. Okay. Um, yeah, because yep. whole person gives auto crits. That's the only reason I know that. Um, yep. Yep, go yeah, go ahead. Can I roll damage for me? Okay, so 22 piercing on the first. Mm -hmm. um, two cold and three fire. So 24 minus 3, 21. Um, I spent three key points. You did. Where's the fire coming uh, from, Kenna? Coming from Shikar? Yeah, she uses her reaction to add a okay. d6. Uh, okay. Do bear in mind the fire is healing the boss. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, you just punched in the face of 21 damage and healed it for three. Uh <laughs> okay. Um, 13, 5, uh, 18... Uh, piercing and four cold. Okay, the enemy is severely, severely, severely wounded. Uh, Jankwe. Please. Uh, with advantage. That's a 24 to hit. Okay, can he do less than three damage? No. Okay, brilliant. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> said, said battle concluded. Um, as the last golem falls, however, um... You notice that at the center of its chest is a gem. Uh, looks a little like a large ruby. Um, other than that, there is no other loot, but the gem looks... Uh, well, it might be of interest. Oh my god, there's too much things here. Sorry, guys, I'm really struggling to find the map. I know it's somewhere. There it is. Gotcha. Um, so, the uh, the last column has a large gem at the center of its chest. Uh, deep red gem. Um, I'm going to reach down and take it up. Oh. Uh, the golem? No, the, the gem. The gem is in its chest. Does it look like I can smash around the gem to get it out? It's a very ham-fisted way of going about it, but you can probably attempt it. Um, is anyone somebody not, with a like thieves' tool or has a, a chisel? Idea. Is Braylon here? Uh, Jankwe is here, and he's the, he's the thief. I confused okay. the names last week, yes. Okay, okay. Jankwe, can you possibly use your thieves' tools and maybe try and pry this out? Most definitely. Allow me to take an attempt, and he'll step up, and I'm not even going to take a check from you. He can just flick it out quite easily. Um, he holds it up and looks at it. It contains some sort of magic, but I don't understand it. Spellcasters, any of you? He sort of waves it in the air yep. at anyone who wants to make an arcana check. Sure. Thank you. Um, he'll hand it to Maverick. Um, That's a 30. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> uh, this uh, gem is pulsating magic, and it is definitely what was allowing the golem to be reanimated. Um, although the animated armors don't seem to have these gems, uh, perhaps the larger constructs might have these gems. In future, perhaps if it was possible to, if you came across any that weren't in battle, you work out that perhaps you might be able to remove the gem to stop them being animated. Cool. Interesting. Uh, but... I'm look at the door to the south. And... Yeah. Uh, it's it's open. Traps? It's just wooden. Uh, you can, uh, as you inspect it, you notice there's no traps on it at all. It's clearly sees frequent, frequent use. The servants all use the other door. Um, so, and all the people who sleep in here. So, th this door is open. Um, yeah, and e e even you know, sort of double, triple checking it, you realize that it's it's probably safe to walk through. Somebody say there was a key behind one of these paintings. Uh, so, as you enter the next corridor, this corridor, uh, next to each door, to the left of the door, is a painting that looks like a portrait. So, as you look to your left, uh, you see a portrait of... Sorry, let me just... The number's really small. It says five on it, doesn't it? Um, you see a portrait of a fine, dashing-looking gentleman. Um, sort of dark brown locks. Uh, he's quite finely adorned. 
Um, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, my, with my robots of eyes, I can see invisible creatures and objects and see into the ethereal plane. Do I need to be actively using the robe to do that, or is that just something I have? No, you permanently will see anything invisible that's hanging about. Okay. Uh, what you won't do, though, is see through things, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. Um, so, yeah, and as you look to your right, you see a painting of... Um, a well-armoured large gentleman who looks to be possibly half-orcish. Those are the two portraits you can see from where you're standing. Can I bring up my magnifying glass to look them both over? No illusions. Mm -hmm. At least there's no illusions here in these paintings. And to Maverick's sense, there's nothing invisible, nothing in the ethereal plane. Do we recognize these? No, no, they are old. That not as in like they're seventy years old, as in the paintings are from four hundred years ago or three hundred years ago. Um, but yeah, you were told by the druid downstairs that behind the paintings you would find the keys to the rooms. Sorry, Maverick, you were saying. Are the doors to the rooms shut? Yes. And if you go close enough, you will find out they are also locked. Right. I'm gonna move down the left wall, looking behind all the. My okay. Left. Are you going to look behind the paintings? Okay. Um, so on the first painting, as you sort of feel around it, you feel a little catch just behind it on the left-hand side. Uh, you pull away the uh, painting of the Dashing Lord and you find a key um, and a small plaque at the back um, that says Lord Everard. Um, it's spelled like that. Um... And it gives the date of his death, which was a hundred uh, sorry, two hundred and twenty-eight years ago. Can you see the name again? Uh, Lord Everard. It's written in the chat here. Uh, I'm oh, swinging my yeah, mouse yeah. over it. Yep. Um, you wanted to go keep going, uh, Kenna? Uh, was that all that was? That's all that's there? behind that painting. There we... might be some more behind all these other paintings. Yep. If you guys, want to take one? Okay. Um, it's fair to say I'll guide you around the room in a clockwise fashion. Um, so as you approach the next, um, you see a painting of a gentleman who cl is clearly a chef. Um, he is wearing a large chef's hat, um, but he's holding a skillet and a ladle as if in battle. Um, when you open this painting, you see an ornate golden key and uh, you see a plaque that says the chef died 207 years ago. Um, the, as you follow on downwards, uh, to the bottom right, um, oh, I'm really sorry. Bottom right is the chef. Uh, we'll go one up. Um, you see a lady, uh, with fine, long, blonde hair, um, and what appears to be sort of shadowy wings coming over her shoulders. She's wearing a long dress and a deep red cloak. Um, when you open the painting, you will find a small silver key to her room and the plaque that says uh, Lady Gulrien which I will spell for you um, and she died 376 years ago a long long time ago as we now head to the bottom left um, you see a painting that it appears to be a young girl, um, perhaps 16, 17 years of age. However, somebody has used almost like whitewash to paint around the picture so that the, only the face of the girl is visible. And when you open the painting, you see a small golden key. The plaque, however, has been scratched across so badly with a sword you can no longer read the name. As you move up this, to... Sorry, go on. Yeah. I was going to say, we, we don't notice. This face means absolutely nothing to us. No, no, no. It's just a young child. Um, as you move up to painting number nine, you see a gentleman with a blade that uh, appears to have almost the sun as its pommel. Um, it's incredibly bright. In fact, it, the light that comes off of this central pommel is so bright that the face of the man is slightly obscured, but you see he wears a deep cow. Excuse me. When you open the painting, you find a large bronze key and the plaque that says 
Lord Cantus. And as you see this, um, give me a perception check. I'll take one from... Well, it's fair to say I'll probably take one from Kenna, because Kenna was the one who led this procession around the room. That's, uh... Uh, 25. Okay, you see, as you look at this name, it obviously looks a little familiar, you notice that perhaps the top and the bottom of the K have been scratched away? Perhaps it's not a K. <gasps> yes, Kenna? Oh. Killian? Killian, hello? Lord Bantus? Yeah, seeing as um, yeah, um, Kenna was looking, I think I would look also. Uh, my perception check was natural 20. Do I see anything else? Mm. I'll roll for that. Um, what you see is that whoever's made this scratching attempt has also clearly made a scratching attempt at breaking through the back of the wall. And you see that there's been marks of a chisel and a hammer. That they clearly haven't achieved anything. Um, but there is, however, a key uh, in front of it. Um, as you look at the painting again with your Perception 20 check, you see that although the facial figures... Fe facial features are hidden by the bright light and the darkness in the face. And you see that he is approximately the height of Lord Bantus and the build that you've seen him. Um, and the date uh, on the uh, plaque doesn't show his year of death, but his year of birth. It says B. And the date is approximately 450 years ago. You know Lord Bantus is a celestial and is capable of living that time. Perhaps he once resided here. And as we discussed, the top left, uh, you saw... Um, yes, a very well-armoured fellow with an axe. And behind the picture, uh, you will find the name... Uh, Captain Eragard. Um... And it actually says there, um, cousin to Lord Everard, protector of the castle. And you can see his death date is one year prior to Lord Everard's. And again, you find a key. Um, obviously, you're not going to forget which key is for which room, so I'll just assume that you guys can open whichever door you wish. Um... I'll go for number six. This one? Yeah, that's number six, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I just wanted to know whether you meant like one, two, three, four, five, six in the clockwork order that we just did, or oh, yeah, the numbers that are on them, yeah? Numbers. Brilliant, okay. Um, so, you take out the chef's key, and you open the door. Um, you see a small desk to your left. Um, you can rifle through the drawers really quickly, but you see very quickly that they are they've been empty long ago. Um, and you see a chest, um, at the foot of the bed. Uh, you see a table on your right, and on the table on your right is a key with a note underneath. What does the note say? And the note says, in case somebody wishes to take up my mantle. And it's oh. a very ornate key with a marble handle. Okay, I'll take said key. Uh, does the chest have a lock on it? Uh, the chest is locked. No, does it have a lock? Like no, uh, like no, it's sort of it has a sort of keyhole in it. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I will try said key in it. No. What? No, it doesn't work. Uh, what's the chest made out of? Um, wooden metal. Okay, I will um oh, wave my wand around. And cast um, diabolicism. Diab diabolicism. Diab what? Diabolicism, yes. That. And rot away the wood. Interesting. Um, I'm assuming you're careful enough. Um, inside is a shield. Um, 
it's golden and it has a um, tankard of beer sort of inscribed into the front. Um, it's a golden shield with a sort of bronzed tankard of ale at the centre. And Bonego, so upon seeing this, will go, aye, that's a dwarf's shield. Mm. Why they have a look? Take it. He puts the shield on his arm and reaches, apparently, into the shield from the back, pulling forth a frothing tankard of ale. <sighs> shield of the Kings! Battle armor shield, this. Many of them. And, uh, he immediately passes you all out a tankard of ale. Even if you don't like ale, take a drink. I'll do you some good. This drink has the properties of greater restoration. Mm. Um, this is also a spell guard shield. He's able to identify that for you. Um, but it adds in that once per day it can produce ten ales, each of which will cast greater restoration. Any of you who had your maximum HP reduced, congratulations, you have cleared it. Oh, um, anybody else who didn't was not under the effect of any um, conditions, uh, please roll a 2d8 and restore that amount of hit points. So if we were still, if we were reduced, we still have that damage. Uh, yes, you don't gain any H HP back. You just can now heal to your maximum HP. Um, I've also decided to swap from 6 and 7 because my brain just apparently cannot read that as room 6 and 7. So from now on, this is the chef's damn room. Um, and number 7 uh, is the woman with the slight wings behind her back, which is, I'm assuming, why Josh wanted to go to the room. So if you now want to continue to room oh, 7... No, I, I literally picked it. Oh, okay, you picked it random. Cool. Um, yeah, uh, feel free to access any other rooms. Should we just go I clockwise? Go bottom right. Okay, cool. Um, as you open this door, you see that uh, there is a large armoire to your right of wardrobe. Um, upon opening this, you will see dozens of dresses. Um, you may make an arcana check. They are not magical. Um, I will let you skip on that. Um, you see a sort of uh, dressing table on your left. Um, there's a beautiful mirror there. Uh... Anybody particularly fond of their own reflection? Hmm. Previously, previously me would. Sorry, I heard two people talk. Uh, Killian? I said previously, uh, myself, I probably would have, but why not? I'll go and check it out. Okay. As you look into this mirror, uh, you see a strange image. As you watch yourself get younger and younger, you see yourself... As you were a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, etc. It keeps going one... until you see yourself as a baby. And then, gone. Strange. There are two drawers in this uh, dressing table. One top left, one top right. And upon the dressing table is a sort of porcelain hairbrush and a doll. Also made of porcelain. Neither are magical in any way, but they are pretty and probably quite expensive. Well. And this is Lady Galvian's room, correct? It is, yes, Lady Galvian. Hmm. These may be worth some money. I wonder if this poor woman was getting old and couldn't stand seeing it, or. Are you pilfering the drawers, or are you. Yeah, 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 I'm going to take what's in there. Okay, well, well have a look. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the top left is a journal. Um, a diary of sorts. Um, it's quite thick. Uh, in the other drawer? And in the other drawer, you see three vials of deep red liquid. Hmm. Maverick, do you want to check these out? Sure. What are you going to attempt to use... To determine what's in the vials, Maverick. Three vials of deep red liquid. Well, funny you should ask, because I don't know if this helps. Um, I do speak goblin. Mm -hmm. 
I do have a poisoner's kit. Yeah. And I have um, crazy amounts of good luck. Sick. Give me an intelligence oh. check. <laughs> I'll let Killian also make an intelligence check if yours sucked. I got a nine. So. Yeah, Killian, give me an intelligence check before you hand them to Maverick. I got a net 24 21. Yeah, it's blood. Oh. Uh, there's no wow. potion in there. Um, they are three vials of blood, and as you open the journal to the first page, you see that it is titled After the Turning. Mm. You notice that she was a vampire. And the first thing she talks about is how her skin has become drawn white. She no longer has her beauty. She also mentions that the cloak I became so famous for is no longer of any use to me. Cloak. There is a chest at the foot of her bed, as there is in all the rooms. Vampires aren't young and beautiful in this world? Mm, young, yes. Eternally young, yes. Beautiful, not so much. If they feed very regularly, yeah. But, uh... Vampire fledglings are when they've just been turned, most definitely not. Her skin was would have looked emaciated and also her plug was no use longer useful to her, which clearly upset her. Mm. Well, there may be something of useful in the chest. Just be careful, whoever wants to take a look. Um I, I want to continue reading the diary while you know, uh, uh, the As you flip surveying. through the diary, um you see that she writes of how devastating it was at first, how the court turned against her. She was turned against her will uh, by a vampire that caught her in an embrace in the night. Somebody she thought was human, um, but turned out to not be. Another man of the court. Uh, back in the day, she... this, the court here was clearly flourishing. She writes of social events and such. Mm. She doesn't mention him by name. But she does consistently uh, mention the thoughts of uh, Lord Everard. Now, we know that Lord Everard was not the lord of Castle Shirishai. At least, he wasn't the person who was lord of the whole castle. Um, you know that those rooms were down downstairs. Um, but he's clearly somebody who was very well regarded at the court. Perhaps an heir? Uh, I'm going to assume that Jankway takes a look at the chest. Yeah, I was uh, going to say, I'm going yeah, to... Yeah, just give me a sleight of hand it. check for me, please. And you can, uh, you can take it. I'd like to try to observe to try and learn how he does what he does. Okay. Um, do you say anything? Ooh. Uh, no. Okay. Um, he does this so quickly and so efficiently that he, he it's mind-boggling to you. Um, I mean, yeah, he, he did, just sort of slipped it. Um, you realize that he's clearly very skilled at this, but perhaps it's no more skilled than how naturally you draw a bow. Um, it's just something that he clearly has been doing for many years. Um, Alaria's about to cast Guidance, but then ch um, tries to, like, make it look like he was just adjusting his coat. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't think there's ever gonna be a situation where Jankway doesn't open a lock, by the way. Um, it's sort of all he's good at. Um, yeah, so, uh, you open this up and there is simply a deep red cloak. Um, it is the cloak that was in the painting. Ooh. I'm gonna pull it out, lift it up. Okay, I'll kind of check, or are you just on. having a little look? Maverick, can you identify this? <clears throat> Maybe. Maybe. I don't know if I can actually fail <laughs> as a 22. You can fail this. Um, a 22? Yes. Oof, that is the DC, by the way, um, for this. This is a Cloak of like the I Bat. Lots of luck. <laughs> this is a Cloak of the Bat. Um, clearly, she no longer needed it to fly when... Um, she became a vampire that could turn into a bat. Um, as you keep going through that diary, Killian, um, it's obviously drawing you in a little bit, um, you see a reference to Lord Fury. Uh -huh. Now, having heard about Lady Fury, perhaps this might take your eye. It's the first mention of him, and it's in reference to something that Lord Everard has done wrong. Lord Fury, in this perspective, seems to be the, almost the king of the castle. 
It's only in passing, but it definitely takes your eye. There was once a Lord Fury that owned this castle, and now Lady Fury owns the castle. Related or not, it takes your notice. Um, but then later on, as you inflict further through, perhaps just looking for the word Lord Fury, um, give me an investigation check or a perception check, whichever you're better at. That is a... 20. Dirty 20. Okay. Um, then, yes, Perception. you're able to see the next, uh, the next sort of flicker of his name. Um, as you look, uh, it mentions Lord Fury. Seems like he'll live forever. He may never pass the power of the castle on to Lord Everard. Okay. I, um, upon seeing that, I will um, ask for the key for Lord Everard's room. Okay. Um, Lord Everard's room was room five up here. And um, yeah, as, as I, uh, before I go, <laughs> this, this diary of Lady Galrien, it mentions a, a Lord Fury. Um, I want to check Lord Everard's room to make sure. It seems that Lord Fury was living forever and something about Lord Everard has done something wrong. Um, I want to try and see if we can maybe ascertain what's going on here. Maybe we get some more answers. In that case, from hearing you say that, give me an insight check quickly. Because there's something you've mildly misunderstood Ooh. there. Possibly. It's a natural one anyway. A 13 passive. Okay. You... Yeah, even... Okay, with a 13 passive, you can realize that it was written like a bit of mild court gossip. Whatever he did wrong was probably, you know, the smallest of offenses. He may have annoyed the Lord. It's not like he was going to disinherit him. Um, or anything. Yep. Um, you also but get the impression that he was due to receive Lord Fury's thing and Lord exactly, Fury's power. Yeah. Yep. That's another reason why I still want to go to Lord yep, Everard's room. Of course. Room. Um, <clears throat> as you go into Lord Everard's room, uh, you see a writing desk, quite antique and dark with a board at the back. Uh, you see three books sort of stacked one on top of each other on the left. Um, all three of these are on politics and the politics of ruling and sort of theologies on politics and leadership um, um, can i just give a quick scan of the room with the magnifying glass nothing okay okay um there are four drawers in the desk um in the top left you find just a key nothing else okay. um which you kind of figure may either open the chest or another lock within the room um in the second drawer down you find paper notes a lot of these are crumpled and some of them are frayed. These are very old and they haven't fared very well, but from what you can glean, these are his notes on the books that are on top of the table. Um, probably not of much interest. Um, in the top right, uh, you find a signet ring. Um, it uh, says VE on it. Quite elegant script. Um, and... This is some serious gold. Um, it's large and quite e quite elegantly wrought. Um, beneath that, you see a second ring. It's tiny, too small for a man's hand. Um, with a diamond on it. It looks like an engagement ring of some sort. Okay. Um, in the bottom right, uh, you find a sort of how do i explain what it is um it looks like a wooden circle and uh has sort of ornate scrolling all over it um give me a wisdom check That's an, that's an eight, not great. No. Um, it's approximately... I don't know how big that is. That that size, I guess. <laughs> um, eight inches across, perhaps. Um, Does it look more like a... A bangle? Too oh. big. Way too big. Is it a bangle? Hmm. Um, I guess I'll, I'll, still, I'll still pick it up. Okay. Um, As you pick it up... Um, you hear liquid inside it. It's a gentle sloshing. Okay. 
Um, okay. So, um, and no amongst magic the books, emanating just, from it. Mm-hmm. Amongst the books, it's just for study, or yeah, they're clearly a, they're clearly books on leadership and ruling and nothing of any particular interest. You can okay. read them front to cut back, and we will find nothing. So I'll let you uh, leave them as they are. Um, as you look to actually, your... Sorry, uh, actually, I think I'll still take them. Yeah, that's fine. You can pop, you can pop them in the bag. Um, as you look behind you, you see a small bookcase. Um, all of these books are also on politics, rulership, but two of them are on the geography of the local area. Um, and then on the other... Um, so as we look at the picture, it's sort of this uh, chest over here, um, which is not a chest. It's a small table. Um, and on the table is what looks to be a shoe shining kit. Shoe shining kit. Um, or boot shining kit. Hmm. Um, and a whetstone and also something for possibly for bossing armor. Um, it's, it's on there. And then there's a chest, um, at the foot of the bed. Okay. Um... The issue shining kid, if I like try to pick it up, examine it, do I hear anything weird? Does it sound hollow at all or No. No? Okay, it's just even has proper, you know, shoe shining polish inside it. Um there is a good sturdy brush. It just looks like the man really took care of the way he looked. Took care of himself, yeah. Um As you um, look at the bed, uh, you notice that unlike all the other rooms well, how many rooms have you been in? Two? Two. Two, yeah. Um you notice that the bed is not made. Pull back, like. If I go up to it and sniff, do I get anything? It's fucking Looking old. for a perfume. It's, it's old. really fucking old, like two hundred and twenty years of old. It's mildewed. Um, okay. But as you go up to it, you do notice that there's something just under the left pillow. I'll like, I'll like, yeah, just take my sword and kind of lift the pillow up. Okay, and you see that it is metal. Um, it's a square of metal, steel. Um, and it's engraved. What's it say? It says, I'm sorry, my dear. I've written this note in metal, so it cannot be corrupted. But I cannot be the one to take the power here. There is something else I must do. Somewhere else I must go. Farewell, my love. Lady Sarah. Hmm. Okay. And I guess, uh, can I pick up that thing? Can I pick it up? You can pick up the metal. It's it's really quite thin. It's just been used to write a message on, but. Okay. Um, I'll take this as well. Um. And lastly, I'll I'll go to the chest. Um, can I check it to see, make sure it's not? Uh, it's not trapped. You know. Okay. Um, I'll use the key. Should I use the key in it? Yep. As you open it up, um, you see a shirt. Um, sort of deep white, but uh, cream, I guess, would be better. And it's got um, embellishment on it and silver buttons, and it's very fine. Um, it emanates magic as you pick it up. Uh, you see a gold amulet with three diamonds set into it, um, and scrawled on the back is um, Everard. And inside, below this, you see three items. You see a small cane, uh, perhaps a scepter would be a better way of putting it, with a red diamond, uh, red diamond, a red ruby at the top, ruby. Um, surrounded by small diamonds. You see. Um, bracelet emeralds um and as you pick up this bracelet you notice that engraved on the back of it is for sarah my love lord everard and lastly you see another circle of wood but slightly smaller this one with small golden flicks out you work out at this point that these are crowns or coronets. Okay. As you pick up the last item, please give me a perception check at disadvantage. Um, 18. 
Just okay. a minute. And you see that there is a very, very small golden handle at the very back of the chest. I will pull this handle. And beneath it is a large leather bound tome. And written on the front is the thoughts and perspectives of Lord Everard. I'll pick that up. Um, the first thing you notice, although this weighs a ton, are you going to open it at all? Yeah. Okay. I'm, very, I'm, I'm too curious currently. Do you open it to the front page? Yeah. Okay. Immediately. You'll see that it begins, <clears throat> I have been chosen to inherit Castle Churchill. After my sister has departed, I'm determined to do something else. And then the Lady Sara has departed. My love, she was chosen next. The power shall fall on me. I don't know why they both left so suddenly. I don't know what it was that Lord Fury told them. But alas, I must meet with him in the morn. And turn the page. <coughs> it says, I met with Lord Fury this morning and I have discovered the sacrifice that must be made. Seven days a year. That is what I would have to be free outside this castle. Only seven days a year. The sacrifice was too great for my sister. The sacrifice too great for my wife. But someone has to do it. What we protected this castle is too important. I shall take the reins. You turn the page, but the next page is blank. No, no, that can't be it. As you scroll through uh every single page in the rest of the book. He never got any further in his journey. And you look at the date at the top of the second diary entry. Something in you clicks, you run outside, you look up behind the painting. And the dates are identical. That was the day of his death. Okay. The shirt uh, was magical. Nothing else was. Okay. Um, after all that, uh, I will return to my friends. Um, well, I hate to keep using as a as a identified bot maverick, but here this is also magical <laughs> as well. Um, I've also found these crowns um, in Lord Everard. At, at that room. moment, uh, Jankway will sort of look over to you and um, have one of these if it helps. Until Waver sort of wand of identify. Um, you can put that wand away. I got a nat 20 for a 33. Uh, but would you like the wand? No, excuse you, sir. It doesn't require a no, <laughs> identify. Oh, does he already have one? Great. <laughs> Kenna, here you go. Wand of identify. Don't know how it's going to help you, but, you know. Uh, actually, no, you can use wands, just not scrolls. Yeah, uh, that's absolutely fine. Uh, wand of identify is uh, yours to keep. Um, yes, this is a shirt of charismatic charm. Figured. Nice. Hmm. I think Rook is wearing one. Or was wearing one once. <laughs> oh, I'm, st I'm still wearing one. Cool. Um, yes, it looks a little different, a little aged, but apart from that, that's... Uh, yeah. Um, Dost our curiosity take us to the other rooms? Yeah. Okay, uh, we, we got back down to here. Are we going to 8, 9, or 10? Let's go to the half cross in the bottom. Okay. Uh, this is where the girl's face was yeah. painted around whitewashed around I should say and the name was scratched out inside uh, as soon as you open this door you notice there's something completely different this room is used inhabited um, the bed is freshly made it smells good um, the furniture is new there is a dressing table on your right and a writing desk on your left um, there is a chest that's quite ornate um, and there is a stone statue that uh, sits upon the center of the desk. And as you enter, you hear a voice. 
Uh... Sorry, it's gone. Where's it gone? Didn't mean to do that. Okay, um, you hear a voice that shouts out to you. You, here, intruder, dost thou wish to take the test? Why should we? We are no intruders, we were told to come in. For the reward, of course. You are intruders. Well, we were told about the keys by uh, Oldor, I believe. Oldor? Is that his name? No. Is that, is that his name? No. Uh, Finyako, the druid. Who's Oldor? Why do I have Oldor? In uh, Oldor is uh, <laughs> one of your <laughs> one of your noble friends at Drathmore who's locked downstairs uh, in the cellar. Um, right. It doesn't Redacted, matter who told Redacted, you where the keys Redacted, are. Uh, cellar. You are not the lady of the castle. You are intruders. Now, well, do you wish to take the test? Your problem or? What exactly is it you think a stone statue of a head is going to do to you? What sort of test? Did we just fight A purpose? challenge! Three questions I ask, three questions you answer. If you answer, a special gift I have to give. I didn't study for this test. What's the gift? The words from a book of old. And that will bless you. I just sort of look around. Only one of you. I will do it. Mm. Are you wise, Orc? Um. Yes. We must help. Well, my first question. Voiceless does it cry. And wingless does it flutter. Toothless does it bite, and mouthless does it mutter. What is it? Can you say that again? Uh, I yes. Uh, voiceless it cries, wingless it flutters, toothless it bites, mouthless it mutters. Go on then, ask your friends, incompetent one. It's only the first <laughs> question. Uh, anyone? Uh, anyone got any ideas? In the beginning, he did say it was three words from a book. No, 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 that's the reward. Oh, that's the reward, okay, okay. Yeah, you just need to answer the riddle. I think it might be wind. Oak, is that what you would like to go with? No. Does wind bite? Fiction, right. Yes, it bites, but it bites with no teeth. Maybe it is one. I, I think you should uh, listen to your wise Janassi friend. <laughs> and that's when from me, not with, the statue. <laughs> I came up with that. Excellent, with that excellent. Wind. Would, nothing, would the wise, fiery one over there like to answer the second question as well? Or do you have more faith in your <laughs> wisdom, Orc? Uh, I don't know why you're giving the credit to her. <laughs> what walks on try. four feet in the morning, two in the afternoon, but three at night? Say it again, I missed that last bit. What walks on four feet in the morning, two in the afternoon, and three at night? Who said that? Was that Alari? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, I will let Rook decide if he wishes to submit said answer. What did Alari- what did you say, Alari? Man. Uh, man. Man? Walks on four feet. Would you like to explain that one, Alari? Please explain it, I don't get it. Yeah, it's a uh, the life cycle. Uh, you walk on four feet while you're crawling, and uh, when you're born, then you stand up on two, and then when you're old, you're on a cane. Smart fella, you are, man. Hmm. Wow. Indeed. Correct. Oh, I'm so smart. Two for two. Correct. Well. The last question is perhaps simpler, perhaps more complicated. Out of the eater, 
something to eat. But out of the strong, something sweet. Well, that's not boring or pasted. Fucking hell. Repeat that one more time. Out of the eater, something to eat. Out of the strong, something sweet. Anyone have any clues? Cause, uh... Silence. You are wise. You are wise. It is a reference, you see. You do not have the context. The question is unanswerable. So instead... Mm. Wise enough to stay silent, I pose you a simple question. Do you come to grant freedom, or to take it away? We come to grant it to those who don't have it. Well, granting it to those who already have it would be... quite pointless. Oh, but I didn't say we weren't okay with taking it away from those who have it. Be careful. They don't all have it, those you think have it. Somewhere the lady somewhere. here is... Yes, but some who chose this position have become enslaved by it. The lady has done what she can. The words from a book of hers, a religion she once followed, but long gave upon. A riddle of a man of strength. But she's learned recently that thought is stronger than strength. You interest me, please. The painting behind the bed. Lift it off. I'll go over. The words of wisdom from the book are in there. And you will find a tome of clear thought. Do I know what it does? Mm, do you know what it does? That's a good thought. Um. No, but I think Brother Alari might. Uh, give me either a wisdom check or a history check, whichever's better. Um, Leobald will also do the same. Did wisdom or history? Yeah. Okay, Leobald brought him that 20 for a 25. Um, yeah, uh, he will be able to explain to you that a Tom of Clear Thought um, gives you a permanent uh, plus two to intelligence and to the maximum intelligence um it will take you 48 hours over a period of six days or fewer to study the book though useful if we have no time on our hands <laughs> all the time and well let's hope after this we can relax <laughs> no. uh, next to the statue is a rod that appears to have been shoved into the desk um, other than that, uh, there is a chest, um, and a, uh, in the drawers of the writing desk you find a few notes and papers, but nothing that's really coherent. Um, they're all written as if to self. Um, and on the dressing table, you find a, set, a plain simple mirror and a hairbrush. Nothing else. I'm gonna examine the rod. Does it seem to be some sort of it's definitely mechanism? Magical. Definitely magical.
Does it seem like a trap? Or... Uh, no. The rod itself is removable from the desk. It appears that she's sort of slammed it into the desk so hard it's gone into the desk. But it wasn't set in the desk or anything, and it's, it wouldn't be too hard to pull away. Maverick, how does this thing work? And I'm just going <laughs> to wave it around and sort of just smash well, Can't it. check me. Oh, come on. Cast identify. That's a nat oh, one. For a four four right. He hasn't got a bloody clue. Uh, Kenan, would you like to wave a wand at it? Uh, yeah. Okay, it's a rod of alertness. Oh. Ooh, big caps. Useful. Indeed. Okay. Browser mm. can long rest and keep that up. <laughs> um, give me an insight check uh, whilst you're all standing in this room. Everybody? Anyone who can roll me over a 16. Uh, 20. That'll do. Um, you have come to the conclusion that this is the Lady Fury's rooms. Um, you can tell this by a couple of things. The sort of nature of the notes, uh, the fact that it's recently written, um, and they're sort of written in, oh, you know, tell X that, to, you know, uh, change the guard cycle, etc. Um, I didn't have a way of thinking to make the notes this way, but it's quite clearly Lady Fury's room. This is oh, where she is there anything invisible or in the ethereal no. plane? No. Um, I will tell you if uh, there is in a room um, right now. Perhaps, perhaps this is a... I I've noticed going through the rooms that a lot of them don't seem to be touched. Mm. Um, a lot of the places had, a lot of the chests had keys that were really available, but they haven't been pilfered at all. Perhaps she really does care about this place. Um, I found something inside Lord Everard's room about the Lord of this place can only leave here seven days out of a year. They're allowed to be free outside the castle because they're protecting something. Didn't somebody say that she left frequently? Yeah. Just often enough. Possibly, but if she's the sole lord of the castle, it'll, I don't think it would really matter anymore. It also spoke of... Uh, I show the, the metal note. Um, also speaks of a lady, Sarah, and her and Lord, uh, her and Lord Everard. That was Lord Everard's wife. Um, but they both left. Lord Everard, uh, Sarah, and um, there was His one who left before. Lord Everard's sister. sister left. Sister who left, um, leaving only him to take over. I found his diary, but apparently, well, he died before you can write any more into it. Um, I would assume if I tore this room over that there's no diary in this room. No, nor is there a necklace. There's no necklace in this room. Her one is probably around her neck. Yeah. No, no, just, just some food for thought. Um, I would like to keep going to the other rooms as well. I want to see if I can find any more diaries. Um, the next room is the room that uh, was Lord Cantus, hmm. who you worked out to be Lord Bantus. Um, I feel like we won't find anything in this room. In this room, you find uh, that there is a chest at the foot of the bed. Uh, by the way, did we want to attempt to unlock the chest in room 8? Oh. Oh, yeah, we missed it. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. uh, Jankway, will you show me how to do this? Uh, I'm very interested to learn. Give me a investigation check on, on Jankway, please. Uh, I'll watch as well, can I? This chest is not made of the same material as the other chests. This is stone. Hey, can I watch as well to try mm, and... can all watch, but... You don't see a lock. Investigation oh, I see. is 26. Okay. Um, this chest is sealed by magic. I can't do anything with this. <sighs> Sorry. Do we think it's worth... Oh, this mm. is her room. This is the only... It's made of stone. How would you like to break it? Well, I know it's set into the floor. Mm. Well, does anyone have dispel magic at all? I was thinking we might murder the bitch. That might dispel it. 
that I believe that's also uh, it's also a choice. Um, I mean, we're up uh, here trying to find a way to get into the cells downstairs. If it was going to be anywhere. Surely her necklace is around her neck, no? I thought we were looking in the other rooms. Anyway, didn't you pick up a necklace earlier? I did. I do have the necklace from Lord Everard. You said this guy was meant to, what, inherit the place or something? Yeah. Might be useful. Mm -hmm. Can I have a look at that metal thing? Sure. Huh. What, what does I've written this in metal so it can't be corrupted me? Corrupted. Not sure. Some was text corrupted. I mean, you can usually tell when somebody writes over the top of it. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You have an illusion thing, right? I, I do. suppose no one can change the words this way. Hmm. Let me uh, yeah, yeah, anything on it? Glass over it. There's nothing on it. Oh. Huh. Fair enough. There goes that experiment. But perhaps this necklace will serve. And I get to get a bracelet from his room as well, and the scepter. Hmm. And what the hell is that? And he looks at the crown. Yeah, I got two crowns here. One... Well, one was in the chest, smaller. It looks like it's probably made for a woman, but this one... I assume... If you're waving it around. They are sloshing, by the way. There is definitely liquid inside the wooden tubing. Mm. That's different. Mm. Can I look around to see if there's any way of like opening it at all? I mean, you can, but you will find that there is not. It's just it is one wood. piece of wood. Mm. Um, but it's not magical. Perhaps. Hold on, I need to read something. Mm. I said you didn't find it's emanating magic. It doesn't necessarily mean it's not magical. Just means so, that you don't recognize it's magical. Um, can I use okay? Um, can I can I can I use that rod for a second? Sure. Um, I'm going to wave and cast identify on the crown. Well, on the wooden tube. <laughs> What you see is sort of like the spell reaches the crown and then is cast upon the wand that you waved. As if you just sort of pointed at a mirror. Yeah. And the light comes straight back. Hmm. I'll hand it back to Gunnar. Hmm. And I'll just present it to everybody else. I was here to cast Fireball on the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Please no, <laughs> but it does. But it does reflect the. Does oh, reflect? Sorry. It did reflect the spell. Let's do that. Yes. So there's that. I assume the other one does the same thing because they Divine both have that yes. liquid. Yeah. So this seems to reflect spells. Um, we should probably be careful with this, and maybe it'd be useful later on. Maybe useful, but there's no telling if it's cursed. Very true. That's why I'm not putting it on. I'm kind of like holding it like this. <laughs> um. Okay. Um, did you want to check progress the room nine? Or are we going to uh, bash away at the stone chest for a while first? Could bash. Few swings. Okay. You, you bash for, I don't know, five, ten minutes. Rook's arm's looking a bit tired. Uh, his his uh, great sword? That's right. That's what you're swinging, isn't it? Um, is yep. looking unhappy at being used for this task. Um, Benega will come over and bash it a couple of times. It, it's, you're not even leaving a scratch. Um, he even takes out a chisel and a hammer and starts trying to chisel it. Nothing. Nothing at all. Um, room 9. Uh, Lord Bantis's room. Um, you see a, uh, chair pulled out slightly from a small footstool. Uh, beneath which are a pair of boots. Um, and they are old and decrepit. And not holding up very well. But you can see they were once quite expensive. On the left you see a desk. Um, it's clean. Unlike the others that were covered in dust, apart from remains, it is clean. Um, but as you pick through the drawers, there's nothing in any of the drawers. And there is a chest um, in the centre. A 
at the foot of the bed. Um, you wanted to see how I unlock them? You want to watch? Sure. Yeah. yeah what is it? So, take your picks like this. You put them in, and then there's just a sort of... Just feel it right there. You just sort of feel it and hear it, and then you slowly twist. <laughs> Very magical. And, uh, well, my lockpick seems to have broken. Um, oh. Gets out <laughs> another pick and puts it in, and I, I'm not going to lie, I do it all by feel, and he just goes, and it opens. Um, I, I'd love to show you the inside of lock, but frankly, it's instinct. Um, been doing it for 50 years, what can I say? Um, he opens up the chest, and inside is one blade with a sun at the hilt. Mm. Identify. It's a sun blade. I let you. I let you identify that on logic. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it doesn't have any magical, or magical, or magical properties at all. It's just a pretty sword. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, this room is spotless. It's been cleaned like really recently. Mm. Okay. Buy like a pretty sword. I mean, and there's a pile sure. of loot. I'll let you sort it out on the break. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you have one room left. Onward and upward. This is the room of Eragard, the captain. Well armored fellow. And as you enter, you immediately see that there is a plate armor hanging on the wall. Um. There is also a lot of signs that this room is also in use. Um, definitely in use. On the desk, you see a piece of paper, clearly a note that has been written on. Um, and on top of it is a quill. Um, sort of resting over the edge of the paper just to keep it knocked down. Um, you see boots and a shirt and trousers uh, on the other sort of dressing table to the right as you walk in. There is a chest at the foot of the bed. Um, and there is a key, uh, on the left-hand side of the desk, uh, on top of a book. As you look through the drawers of the desk as well, I will also tell you that there are timetables for guards. Well, we know this is a habit by, well, we already know this is a habit by one of Fury's people. The timetables, uh, they just show uh, they just show the shifting of shifts. Uh, does it tell what rooms that they shift through or anything like that? No, they are all apparently guarding the same place. Okay. Right. It's just whether they are night shift or day shift, day shift or night shift. Okay. Sort of thing. Um, obviously, there's the note on the top as well, which uh, will catch your eye quite quickly as it's signed from Lady Fury. Oh, I'll read it. It says, uh, it says, I am going to the Valkyrie's Grove and will return in three days. Please feed the prisoners by the hatches. By the hatches? There's hatches. Hmm. Have we hmm. ever heard of the Valkyrie's Grove before? No. Three days. How long did... Oh, I'm about to call him Floki. That's not his name. Finiaco. He, Finiaco. Left she, he said she left yesterday. Oh. Okay. But it said that... Oh, I'm saying this to the group, of course. It says that they feed the... the prisoners by hatches. Hmm. Perhaps we can use it if we can find Selene or something or anyone who's useful down there. Which... We believe that Lord Bantus is down there, I believe. You've been told that uh, downstairs was Lord Bantus, Diplomat Kurkan, Selene, Ridian, Anariel, Falaya, um, and uh, a man called M Mikhail. Hmm. And then... Not Michael. <laughs> I, think you, I thought you said Michael before. Okay. I might have misread it when I was reading it out as Michael, <laughs> not Mikhail. Um, yes, uh, we, we can call him Michael. Let's call him Michael. That's for consistency's sake. Michael. 
Perhaps you can use that. Lady Felia? Or is it actually something different? No, Felia. Spelled very differently. Well, not very differently. It's got an extra letter in it. Um... Okay. Oh. Well, perhaps this necklace can... Um... Get them out. At least start to get them out. Um... According to this, Fury's already gone and won't be back for another day. So we may have some time. Or if she already knows we're here, as I'm pretty sure she does, she may have cut her trip shorter. Cut her trip short. Or if she's that powerful, I would be surprised she couldn't just teleport here like we did. Fact is, we should get moving as fast as possible. I agree. Okay. Having stripped these rooms bare, um... Oh, you haven't quite. Would you like to open the chest? Uh, there is a rod of security. Hmm. And a ring that grants the alert feat. Oh. It will require a tune. Mm -hmm. And on that note, I think... Mm, I will tell you very briefly that you hear two people running up to the door behind you. Do I recognize the footsteps? I don't know if you recognize anyone's footsteps, but as you turn around, you see that it is Iona and Alamore. And on that note, we shall take a break. Welcome back to Drathmore Keep, uh, where we have just been interrupted by Iona and Alamore. Iona comes running up and... Guys, guys, we need your help. Downstairs, downstairs. Something's happening to, to Vrax. What do you mean? Uh, he's becoming part of the castle, I guess. Uh, you, you need to see it. Let's go downstairs. Let's just... We, we, we all go. Yeah. We'll run downstairs. Okay, um, so, uh, party go, party, party go right, party go up, party go right, party go in, party go down, party go where the fuck's the other map, and there you are, um, as you get down the stairs here, uh, what you immediately see is that the, uh, right now only Braylon and Milawan are engaged in fighting with the, um, with the gargoyles um you see that malawan has sort of become i mean he was ethereal anyway and he's sort of just floating as a mist through them and brayden is radiating radiating like a bright golden light from him um and holding his holy symbol up in the air um however attached to the wall his back to the wall his arms up sinking into the wall his vrax with maybe 15 gargoyles surrounding him oh, they're pulling him? Yes, and Killian, uh, give me a perception check. I'm just gonna start popping shots while we wait for plan. Yeah, uh, I 15. mean, you can keep knocking them down, but the problem is they keep getting back up. Uh, those, uh, coronets, those wooden coronets, mm -hmm. they're vibrating. Okay, um, I'm gonna head that way and run over there. Um, oh, shit. Um, do they get... Like, do they increase intensity as I get closer? Can I try and um, hey, look at look at the coordinates and look at uh, exactly what's making them? Maybe I can ascertain what's making them vibrate. Hmm. Hey, you want to give me a nat twenty on an inside check for that? Sure, why not? Because <laughs> uh, I ain't taking nope. anything less. No, I didn't think nope. so. Um, um, no, that would be an obscene logical jump. Um, yeah. They're crowns. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> Rogue just rolled a nat 20 on an inside I rolled a nat 20, but this has nothing to do with me. So <laughs> he was just being amusing. Um, oh. They're crowns. Yeah. You're on a throne room. That's all I got for you. Okay. <laughs> right? <laughs> Maybe they like this room. Uh... <laughs> Gotta save Rex, so how else we get out of here, really? <laughs> um, like, how much of Rex is in the wall currently? Three and a half, four inches. 
But is his head still available? Like no, out? no, no. That's three and a half inches of like the back of his head, the back, the whole of his back, all the back of his oh, legs. Oh, like he's flat against it. He's yeah. like flat against it. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Um, he is still in, somehow expelling magic from himself. At the same time, he's holding the gargoyles. They're at a standstill right now. He's not oh, okay, sinking okay. any further, but he's not coming out either. Do bear in mind he's silent. Yeah. He can walk through rock. Um, yeah. so. But he's not able to get out right now. I don't know. What happened right before they started grabbing him? Nothing. Uh, this is what they've been trying to do since we've been starting fighting them. They pick us up and they try and chuck us at the wall. And then when we get there, we stick. Um, apart from me, I don't stick. But the others all stick. And then Raiden was getting us out, but he's been exhausted. How, how big are those? Hmm? How big are gargoyles? Six foot six. Oh, really big. And there's um, 14 of them in the room currently? <laughs> and you said they, they keep coming back. We haven't seen them in any other room other than this one. No. We've slayed them so many times. They just keep returning. I'm going to put the I crown on my head. getting you out before. Okay. Which crown? I'm putting the larger crown. The uh, <laughs> Everard's <laughs> crown on my head. It stops vibrating immediately. And goes warm. Give me a constitution um, saving throw. Constitution saving throw? Okay. Mm -hmm. That is a 20. Natural, uh, dirty 20. Okay. Um, you sense that it's about to throw you a long way across the room. Like, you get it, like, proper nefarious vibes from the crown. Um, you have an opportunity to take it off. Yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... That's all I can give you. Well, that wasn't the best idea. Mm. No. Maybe maybe we should sit in the throne. <laughs> the throne we were told not to sit in, maybe we should, should sit in it. That's what I was thinking. Um, fuck it. With life or limb, you never learn anything. Scared money don't make no money. I'm going to run over to the throne, put the crown on, and sit in the throne. You get exactly <laughs> the same feeling from the throne that you just got from the crown, and then you are thrown <laughs> at the wall. Okay, um, boom. <laughs> Lou, no, uh, not only boom, but uh, you stick to the wall. Oh no, God. However, no. you stick to the wall directly in front of the, um, in front of the throne. You see. I not grab him. You see yeah, a I, little. I would immediately try to pull him off. Um, you see the druid. Uh, just let's see if I can get an NPC counter here. You see Finyanko. He's just round here, and he sees that you have been attached to the wall. I I, I need a Lucius counter. Uh, who isn't Lucius anymore? But fuck it, it'll do. See in the door. That's um, not a door. He is here. Um, yes, you're right. He's in the door that's not a door. Thank you. I knew that door didn't exist, and then I can put it there. He's peeking his head out this door, okay? Um, he's like, sort of, he looks translucent. And he raises his staff, and uh, Lucius, you fall to the ground in front. Um, at this point, I'm assuming the party are going to sort of have sort of made their way over here somewhere. Um, some of you are smacking at goggles, I'm sure, but I'm not going to make you use any expendity resources. Yeah, I'm making my way toward the, uh, the druid. Did Iona say that Braylon was getting them out of the wall before? Yeah, he was casting a spell that was getting them out of the wall, but he's been exhausted recently. I'm going to see if I can get, uh, revive Braylon to find out what he was doing. Um, he's standing... Fuck me, I need about 4,326,281 counters. Um, he is standing right the fuck here. He's got his arm in the air. He's got his holy symbol in the air, and he's glowing golden. Religion? Sure, you can make a religion check. You can also just sort of look at him and uh, make an insight check. You can do that. Um, are we in <clears throat> any immediate rush to do something right here? Apart from the fact Vrax is sinking into a wall, but he's not currently sinking into a wall. He's just not getting out of the wall. Um, okay. And there are gargoyles sort of swinging at you every now and again. Uh, no. Okay, well, whilst it's slightly calm, um, I'm going to quickly head to the room where the chef's chest is. <laughs> and, um, 
don't know why you're laughing. I am <laughs> so up for that. For do 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 do. Off he goes to get some loot. Um, okay. <laughs> a magical spatula. You don't know. Uh, there is a magical spatula. I wonder spatula. why everybody gets mad at Maverick. I love Maverick, and I think that's an excellent plan. Maverick, you put your oh, ornate Lord. marble key into the chest of the chef. And you find the skillet of the master chef, the chef's spork, chef's hat, chef's apron, the battle... Hold on for it, I've got to get this name out. The battle chef cooks lavish ladle, the battle chef field dresser, and the skillet of the master chef plus two. Okay, do I need to have arcana for all You're going to have to arcana check every single one of them, and not one of them is going to help you with a man stuck in a wall. Um, unless you Maybe. wish to wield the ladle in battle to fight with, which you will need to attune to, I would suggest that you bring your <laughs> hoard of items back and accept what, that what they're not going to help. Things? Yes. Um, okay, so, I want to know what they did. The battle chef field dresser. If you prepare a meal with this item, anybody who eats the meal gets temporary HP, equal to your okay. level plus your proficiency mod. You also gain advantage on survival checks to harvest any animals or monsters. Okay. Um, the master, the battle chef cooks lavish ladle, um, allows you to, uh, only the most skilled adventurer can, cooks can wield a weapon of such delicious destruction. Whilst wielding this ladle, it has the ability to function both as a rapier and a cooking utensil. Using this ladle over the course of a short rest, you have the ability to make a soup of almost, out of almost any edible material. It is both nutritious and delicious, healing all those who partake for 2d4 hit points. This weapon also functions as a plus one rapier. Proficiency with a rapier allows you to add your proficiency bonus to the attack roll for any who you make with it. Uh, this is a rare weapon that requires attunement by somebody who is proficient in cook's utensils. That's pretty OP. You can make food out of anything. Yep. Um, chef Shaker, a salt cellar made of stone with the carving of a jubilant fat chef on the top and fish, game, animals and grains on the bowl. When used, it transforms salt placed in the cellar to simulate exactly the flavour desired by the person who opens it with only a pinch of salt. Um, okay, I don't have anything to carry all that stuff in. Um, oh, fantastic! The chef's apron! Every single pocket in it is an extra dimensional space that holds cooking equipment, pots, pans, utensils, cutting boards, etc. It has an entire spice rack of common spices. It cannot hold any food, but other than that, you can get all the other items in it. Stuff okay, it all in the pocket. Okay, I'll put it all in the pocket and then I'll just carry... Okay. The apron in my hand. Cool. Um, yeah, I'll walk back to it. That's okay. not what Maverick wanted to do. That's just what I wanted While to do. While all of you are battling gargoyles and trying to work out why Vrax is stuck in a wall, you see Maverick return with a chef's apron, a chef's hat, and a bunch of other things stuffed inside the pockets of the chef's apron. Um, questions will be asked up? later. Um, returning to the issue at hand. Um, uh, it's just crown is vibrating. I don't know why. 19 on that insight. Uh, yes, uh, he's casting heal. Or was casting heal. He is currently now casting. Uh, what is he casting? Um... Oh, I haven't given any fucking spells, have I? It's a good job I have to control this one, isn't it? Um, he is currently casting protection from death. He's concentrating. That is not getting Rax out of a wall. That is what's keeping Rax from dying. I'm gonna gotcha. yell to him. I'm gonna yell to him. What do you know about this? Can we stop it? No, I've been able to use Greater Restoration to restore his state from the wall, but other than that... And I'm running out of gas. Is there anything else in this room other than the other, than the other room? Um... In the two chests? Hold on, hold on, let me do. Can we just get a huge to the, Hold on, hold on, please. To the right and left of the carpet that you're standing on are braziers of flame. Directly in front of you, you see the throne. Behind you, you see gargoyles lining the back wall. Two sets of armor, one in either side before the stairs and the stairs further to your right. The two chests at the back. Um, that, uh, are both closed, so I don't know why there's pictures of them being open. Um, and, yeah, there's gargoyles fighting against the wall. And behind the throne directly is an inscription that just says Fury. In elaborate writing, uh, in, on a gold plaque. And Killian, um, when you put the crown on, it stopped vibrating, it went warm, and then, and then it 
began to give you that sort of nefarious feeling. Nefarious feeling. Um, when you sat on the throne, you got the same feeling, but again, the crown stopped vibrating. Um, give, what, what was your inside check? Oh shit. no, no, that was your that was for something different, wasn't it? Give me an inside check on that. Specifically. Uh nineteen. Yeah, maybe the No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh twenty one, twenty one. Maybe the problem wasn't what you did, but the fact that it was you. Yeah. Okay. Um then who Okay, so None of us can wear this and sit here. Someone else has to be You guys have missed a really important piece of information, and I don't know if I should go back and remind you of it. They're ignoring Iona? That she it's didn't stick to the wall. Um, Roke, if you would like to casually lean your hand against the wall, you will find that you also don't stick to the wall. The rest just, of you I do. Was just, I was just about to say, the, my blood is royalty. As is Iona's. The rest of you stick to the wall. Not classism. Not here, not today. <laughs> it doesn't matter, somebody stick on that crown and go. Uh, I'm just gonna grab it from Killian and just put it on. Dust the crown? And sit in the throne. Okay. Um, saying... As you do this, you feel a warm vibration. Um, sort of within the throne. But you feel like you're missing something. Oh, I'll, um, I'll hand the scepter. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, as soon as you hold the scepter and sit in the crown, the gargoyles stand along the wall in perfect formation. And stop attack. Is, uh, is Vrax still in the wall? Yes. <laughs> you didn't heal Vrax, you just, uh... <laughs> but, uh, somebody did shout something about Greater Restoration earlier? Yeah, the, uh, the shield. It's the beer. Oh, in all fairness, none of you are going to think to do it because uh, it's Benego who's holding the shield. But if you ask him nicely, he'll uh, he'll pull out his he'll pull out the beer and he'll sort of pour it into Vrax's throat. Um, how he's doing that as a four foot dwarf while Vrax is pinned to the wall, I've no idea. But we'll say well, that I, I kind someone of imagined someone it like lifted a, him up. I imagined it like a uh, uh, a t shirt cannon. What? You don't know what a t-shirt oh, cannon is? I, I imagine a football game, James. No, no, Jeez. I know what a t-shirt cannon is. I'm wondering how he... Oh, you mean like he fired it out the shield? Yeah. No. Um, he put his arm deep inside, pulled the tankard forth, and then handed it up to Vrak somehow, um, who will then fall down out the wall. Um, at this point, the gargoyles are all stood still. Um, Rook, I will tell you for free, you can probably stand up. Um, they're not going to attack again unless... They are commanded to do so by somebody. I want to try. Some, I want to try talking to them. Uh, Same. Go on. Uh, all, all of you, turn to your left. Do they turn? All right. I have no control of them. Never mind. C um. <laughs> you didn't say Rook says. Give me an inside check <laughs> on that one, Rook. <laughs> You're gonna regret rolling that twenty earlier. Um. Well, I rolled my a passive ins. Oh, there's that's not a thing. Uh, you passive, passive insight well. is a thing, but that's not going to cut it either. Um, God damn it! Yeah, perhaps your complete lack of magic might have something to do with it. Um, that's all I'll give you. Um, yeah, you can't command these, but you were able to remove the commands they had, which is something. Um, cool. Uh, while you're sitting there like a donut, wearing a crown and holding a scepter. <laughs> Um, the, uh, the druid, uh, Finyako is going to come over to you and, hmm, how'd you do that? We were told before we came that we each have one role in completing our mission and I have the blood of royalty and I took a gamble. Most of the crowns from upstairs. They are indeed. They contain the blood of each person. One belongs to Asara, I believe. The other, I don't know. Asara, what was her last name? She was the wife of Lord Everard. 
I believe the larger crown belongs to Odeverard of his rooms you're in now. Yeah. At least that's the deductions I made from the journals I've read. Hmm. There's wait, a wait, wait. fascinating diary in Lady Gorian's room. If you have a few months to read it, like I do, um, it details a lot of information. But hmm. the essence of it is the crowns are forged from the blood of those that were next in line for the throne. My my blood leads to his royalty from Karat. That is a long way from here. The blood of kings has always been different. Doesn't matter where it's from. Well, that's sexist. Mm, you say sexist, but the girl doesn't stick to the wall either, does she? Hiding anything over there, lass? Oh, looks at him. Not hiding it, just don't give a shit. Yeah, my mother's a queen. She's downstairs. All of them downstairs hold royal blood, as far as I could tell. In some way or other. Ah. Did you find the necklace? Yep. Oh. That doesn't look right. It doesn't? It's not the same as Lady Furious. Well, if you want to try it, you've got a fight on your hands, so... Perhaps there is something I can do for you. As I said, I won't fight, but... I can do this. And Any help would be appreciated. And you'll see that he, he will ask you to follow him into his room. Uh, into his land of green. Uh, first. Um, once you get in there, um, he will... You will see the sky of the room, which is just it is the ceiling, but it will turn to night and then day again. Um, a blue light washes through the room, and each of you feels restored, replenished, refreshed. Take a long rest. Because you're going to fucking need it. Now, um... Do you have anything you wish to ask... Finiaco. Also, is somebody smashing their spacebar? That might be me, sorry. Thank you. Um, Almost cold. <laughs> sorry for the cameras. But uh, I really don't want to play Leobald in battle anymore. So, without further ado, welcome in the Leobald. When he gets here in a second. Um... Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Jamal. You're nice and early. I don't know who it is. <laughs> yeah. Now that fuck. Okay, no. I'm going to give you the 9,000 mile per hour recap. Uh, we searched That's every room upstairs, found a fuck ton of loot, and a necklace that may or may not do something with some gems downstairs. Um, and uh, Rook discovered that by putting on a crown, holding a scepter, and sitting in a throne, he could stop the gargoyles from attacking. Uh, other than that, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. The party's just had a long rest, take one, two, and, uh... Got it. Done. Is there anything you want to ask, Vinyako? Not you. The rest of the party. <laughs> We've just got there. <laughs> if you know what to ask, Vinyako, I'll be amazed. Um, Are you going to continue to follow us? Depends where you go. Go down. You want to go down? You think the necklace will do it? <laughs> I don't know. Our only hope, really. Is it? I thought you would pursue Lady Fury. Hmm. Do you know where she went? She went to the Valkyrie Plains? Valkyrie Gardens. The Grove of the Valkyries? Grove of the Valkyries, yeah. It's an hour, perhaps two. Away from here? Yes. Outside, <laughs> across the snow. Not a lot of time. She's that close. She knows we're here and she hasn't returned. Yeah. Maybe she doesn't deem us a threat. There is also the nature of her knowledge. She doesn't necessarily know what it is you've done. She only knows that there are intruders in the castle. Hmm. For all she knows, perhaps one of the guards has brought back a market slave. I see. Do you, uh... Sorry. Sorry, go ahead. No, go, uh, Maverick, go. This is not to do with what's this conversation. That's fine. Um, can I change Alamar's feet? No. Uh, Rook. You got a question? I was just gonna, I was just gonna ask it. 
Do you know Lord Bantus, and why does he have a room upstairs? Lord Bantus... Bantus? And there's a Bantus downstairs. Yes, and there's a there's room upstairs. There's a Cantus upstairs? At least that's what I'd read. Yes, but the B was scra scratched off the wall. Oh. It should really be for Bantus. I don't know of one, but all those rooms belong to people from years and years ago. So do you know this Lord Cantus? Only from the painting and the name. I think Lady Gorian makes reference to him once as a strapping lord and a fine dancer. But how dancer. that helps you, I have no idea. Well, we were told a long time ago that uh, there was a... Please correct me if I'm wrong. There was a... Um, uh, what's, what's the bird called? The, what's the bird race called? Aarakocra. Aarakocra. We were told an Aarakocra oh. took him a long time ago. Is that uh, is that anywhere nearby, that being? The Aarakocra? Uh, yes. Lady Fury has some Aarakocra guards, but they she uses them from outside. Uh, they don't reside here. Was it okay. They have a nest nearby. Uh, oh, the Kenku too. She has Kenku in her employ. They also have nesting nearby but they're not involved in the workings of the castle sometimes she uses them to collect people for her so perhaps this might be one of them so uh, are you all ready to go kick some ass you want to go downstairs you're gonna to have to go through the guards room you'll have a fight on your hands we are ready of course. Miyako. are we sure we don't want to take her out we know where she is, and she's not here. Hmm. That would be my advice. Perhaps, if maybe fighting her outside of the castle would probably be better. We were told to do that a while ago, so... I believe it was I that told you to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you were right, we get fighting it. Fighting her in the castle is... probably suicide. So then there average... are a lot of you. Are we all going? How do we get to her? It's pretty unmissable, to be honest. Um, there is a singular path through the forest outside to the south. It leads directly to the grove. It's an ancient grove. It was used by demon worshippers long ago. Um, all female, praying for the powers of a woman who used to live, or was, so it was said, was the original creator of Castle Shurishai. Um, I'm not sure if anyone, well, I guess I'm the only one who actually kind of uses swords here, really. Um, who has the sun sword? Can I? I use a sword. You could add uh, not, not a one handed sword, I don't think. Uh, yeah, you can take it, can you? Nobody else is gonna touch it, I don't think. No, I'll just I'll just equip it. Okay. Um while you're doing that, by the way, um our lovely uh Jankwe is unlocking the chests in the throne room. Um because he just can't not. Um, there is a Ring of the Ram, 4,000 gold, two flawless diamonds worth 10,000 gold each, and oof, something called Take, uh, which is a crossbow. Um, it echoes with magic, the crossbow, and it says Take in writing along the sort of uh, the curve of the crossbow, and also along the base. I'm going to identify, identify that. Yeah. Okay. Um, you cast Identify on it. Um, it's fair to say you get some of what it is. That's uh, that's what I can give you. Um, you realize that you haven't fully identified the item. Mm -hmm. um, but from what you've gathered, it is a hand crossbow. Um, it is aligned to somebody good. Um, and it definitely is magical, um, possibly might allow the ability to cast spells. Oh. 
But that's all you've got. Uh, if one of our mavericks wants to make an arcana check as they look at it. <laughs> That's a 26. Yeah, um, maverick, this isn't a particularly nice vibe coming from this crossbow. Um, um, yeah. The crossbow's cursed. Sure. I'll give you that. The crossbow's cursed. Um, okay. Um, at this point, uh, you have a choice, my friends, my little warriors. Um, what do, you, what do you wish to try and seek your friends downstairs and risk the Lady Fury ret returning? Um, or do you wish to pursue her in the grove? Go on, Killian. I have you may one other question. Um, just, it's more like, I don't care. You said it's the Sun Sword. Is it this, is it the Sun Sword? Mm -hmm. Or is this a different Sun Sword? That's the Sun Sword. It's the Sun Sword. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I guess it depends. How long are we staying here? I want to make it my dedicated weapon. How long does that take? It takes an hour. The sun Blade or the Sun Sword? Ah. Uh, very. Yeah, that's what you have to be very. Very. <laughs> no, no. Sun Blade. Sun Blade. Oh, Sun Blade. Sun Blade. Yeah, okay. It's, it's like a. It's just, just a blue, yeah? Okay, Sun yeah. Blade. Okay, we had to be really sure what we were saying. I didn't here. know there was a Sun Sword. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I wrote Sunblade in the chat, did I not? Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. Oh, okay. Good, good. Um, Just checking. Um, yeah. it, it takes an hour. Um, it's, for this. Yeah, I think it's like a plus two sword with with a radiant light coming from it. If I'm 100% sure. Um, regardless, uh, yes, apart from that, um, I said you have a deepened Interesting choice. Uh, to try and rescue your friends or to pursue Lady Fury before she returns to the castle. We may not get another chance. If we can attack her in the grove, perhaps it is better to attack her in the grove before she gets back. We don't really know what Lady Fury is capable of, I'd but this is our home. Head on, then have her come up behind us. I agree. Well, I will not pursue the Lady Fury with you, but I can give you some advice. Beware her voice. Before anything else, beware her voice. It is how she charms, and it is how she ruins. Secondly, she's good with a sword. I'll tell you that for free. What Third about me, magic? Very much so. I have seen her in two forms. With her hair as hair, and her with her hair as white flame. If her hair goes white flamey, I'd run. But hey, you're going to kill her, so it's probably happening at some point. The closer she is to the castle, the more power she can call upon. Is this a magical flame? I'd assume so. That seems to be part of her. She is larger than your average human. Ten, almost eleven foot in height. Ah. Uh. And she's quick. Don't expect her to be slow. Can I use this scepter in any way in battle? I doubt it. If anything, it... Holds a little sway here, but don't expect it to work when she's present. There is one other thing, and he looks at Malawan. I don't wish to make judgments on who or what you are, but... I wouldn't go near her if I was you. My love one looks back. You speak of my nature? Andrew looks at him. You will find yourself banished to your original plane. Never to return. Malawan looks around at you and... Perhaps I will stay here. See if I can get past the guards silently. See whether I can get downstairs and discover anything. 
I do not wish to be banished home. So first classism and now deportation. Yeah. What are you doing? Well, that's I have life. a question. Mm-hmm. You say she gets stronger the closer she is to the castle. What if she was on a different plane? I know that she has been to the Abyss at least once. She went there to visit with a demon lord, apparently. She spoke in depth of it to someone in strange tones. They spoke in Abyssal. Aye. I would assume that she has her powers there as well, but... The castle definitely provides her with extra power. She has control over it. So she's stronger an hour away than she would be if she was on a different plane? I don't know if she has any particular increase in power an hour away. I more meant if she was close enough to use the powers of the castle, perhaps a hundred foot. Very well. You could take her to a different plane of existence. It could be an interesting ride. A completely out of character. How the hell are you planning on moving somebody to another dimension and all your party? I mean, we happen to have this rod of security we just got. Ah, so yeah, that's pretty throw. cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think it says willing creatures, does it not? Uh, no. No? I think it's... I'm pretty yeah, sure it's willing really creatures. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, oh, that would have been we so could cool. We talk her going and then attack after we go. I back. cannot yeah. wait to see that happen. Um, are, are we set on the path of headed to Lady Fury? Yes. Yeah. Does anybody have anything else they wish to do with the castle before they leave? I'm just going to leave this up there behind. Okay. Um, this Maybe don't fight, put that down. This fight will last quite a long time. Um, does anyone need to go in the next hour and 15 minutes? I'm good. I'm good too. I'm not sure about anybody else. I'll survive. Okay. Josh, will you be able to cope? Uh, he'll see, I guess. No more so than I would any if we stopped here. So. Right, okay. You've got so little time that it makes no difference. Yep. Um, Jamal doesn't get an option because he turned up two hours late. Uh, <laughs> he's well slept. Uh, Cow, are you good to continue? Yeah. I can, I can do another and Matt? Hour and 15. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, cool. Um, so, as you depart, um, let me... As you return here, you see that... Uh, well, the druid will guide you to the rear. And over here is... A, no, over here, sorry. Is a path leading away. You'll follow this path and walk for approximately 45 minutes. At which point... You see something different. Sorry, maybe I should have asked this before we left. Um, how far away is the grove to the house? 40 minutes. No, I mean in foot. Because you said that she can stay within 100 foot of the house? A uh, 100 foot is not a 40 minute walk, it's a 40, it's a 14 I second look, walk. Um, I didn't go to school for maths, okay? Okay, cool. This is, uh, I don't know, how far can somebody walk in a 40 minutes, 3 kilometers, it's 4? It's, it's... 3,000 meters or something, not 100 feet. Um, yeah, long Just way away. Just a bunch of words to me. Okay, long way away. Um, further than Tesco's. Right. Um, <laughs> okay, that's how we communicate in this world. So, um, you see, as you come through the trees, an, a clearing. Um, and in this clearing are stones free of snow. They look recently swept. Standing in front of the altar, where a large blue gem sits, is a woman, perhaps ten foot in height. Long, dark brown hair. And a sword, a huge sword, attached to her back. And she turns as you get even near the clearing. 
Ah. My intruders. Did you enjoy your stay at Castle Fury? That was lovely. Yeah. The service was a bit lacking. Yes, well. I don't attend that list. Comes from indentured servants, I guess. Well. Oh. Hmm. Now, I know you, and she points at Iona. And I know you, and she points at Kenna. You two look irrelevant, and she points at Brayla and Janquay. Hired hands. I know you, and she points at Animal. Sorry about your father. Some things have to happen. But the rest of you... Well, clearly you're one of the battle axes. You all look the same. Still have the crown on my head, just so you know. Who are you, Orc? Did you say you still have a what car in your hand? Sorry. Oh, the crown, the crown. The crown, the crown on crown your head. head. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was just like, wait, what? My brain took really long to process that. Okay. Um, so, um, yes, cool. Uh, he, she looks at you first and says, who are you, Orc? It doesn't matter to you. Oh, but come on. You want to just get to it? Beat each other up? Kind of. All right. Well, wow. Actually, no. I have a question for you. Mm. Please. Why did you take all of the prisoners you have in your dungeon? I had my reasons for each and every one of them. Some of them were, frankly, too useful to be left outside. Take uh, Lord Bantus, for example. He was just, well, he needed to be subdued. Um, some were, uh, well, a threat, if I'm honest. Lady Selene. Do I assume that my recent taking of Lady Selene is the reason I now have some interesting guests, including what appears to be her spawn? I may have overreached with that one. Well, it was about time we had some interesting visitors. I've been getting lonely over the last couple of hundred years. Um, before I ask this, her room was the one where the picture and the plaque was scratched out, right? Yes. Yeah. Why'd you do... I'm just gonna ask her why'd you do that. <laughs> oh, the scenery was horrible. The painting was... Of me while I was exploring, it was... It was, oh, it was ghastly, but I had a nice face back then. I thought it worth keeping a memento. And a plaque? Well, I wouldn't just share my real name with anyone. That would just be foolish. Well, since you're about to kill us, what's your real name? Perhaps I'll whisper it in your ear before I lay you to rest. Lady Fury. That is what they call me now, yes. What happened to Everard? Oh, Everard. Let's just say he was a tad too noble. Killed him? Oh, no. He did a fine job about himself. Sad. Yes, a little. Though, I will be eternally grateful to him. He was the one that freed me. Were you at the... You were what's being kept here. Is that the reason why he couldn't leave for only seven days out of a year? Yes. That blood is what bound me. And now it's what keeps me. It keeps me healthy, keeps me hardy, keeps me protected. Mm. But I don't need the castle for the likes of you. see. And with that, she lifts up her fingers gently, places two fingers in front of her mouth and blows. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Your arrow is blown away in the wild wind that comes from between her lips. 
each of you Cheeky. feel... Well, actually, what, none of you had any current magical effects on you, did you? Mm -mm. Well, it's just a strong wind. More initiative, please. Excuse the cameras for one moment. Um, please remember you will be rolling initiative for... Uh, actually, you will not be rolling any initiative for our additional characters. They will all be going on initiative 10. Alamor got in at 20. Alamor will get over it. Can I have oh, his nuts for me? No. I rolled a two and a three. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. You can, uh, you can, now that they're claimed, who's am I missing? I've got Brayman, Jankwe, Nago, Iona. Yes, it's only Vrax whose initiative is off here. So yes, you can have Alamore's initiative. Um, I'm really sorry, guys. I said roll initiative before I clicked running counter. Unless you're a Lari, click roll, click initiative again, please. Uh, Kenny, your initiative. So it didn't. It didn't give me um, advantage for that for some reason. Uh, so can I roll again? Uh, Mr. Sixteen, or yeah, you know, just in case I get better. Yeah, sure. Uh, Thirteen. Do you want Jankways? Uh, I am missing Maverick, Iona, Bonego, Brayden, and Jankway, and Alamo. So yes, uh, Jankway, please. 18. 18. Alamo got a nat 20 for how much? Uh, for 23. Okay, um, Iona's is in. Um, I am controlling Brayden. Bonego rolled a nat 1 for a 6. Sick. <laughs> Wow, I guess I'm not going last then. Holy shit. Um, okay. There's only Vrax who's missing. Um, but that's okay because Vrax has a very specific role here. Um, Can you remind us just which number is which? Okay, I'm going to get to that in a second. Um, so, um, number one is going to be Iona. Uh, let me just move these. Down here. Um, number one, number one is Iona. Uh, number two is Alamo. Uh, number three is. Hold on, two seconds actually. Before we do that, uh, Jamal, can you do me a favor? Yeah, sure. Can you open up um, the Drathnor Keep campaign and claim Braylin? Uh And then proceed to play him in battle, please. I cannot claim it. Does. No? There's no button to say claim or anything. It just says view. Yeah. Now we have max characters. Oh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. I'll deal with him then. Um, okay, let me just give him some spells, because I forgot them. Uh... I mean, I can always just delete the uh, other one-shot character. And... No, it's fine, it's fine. I can work this out. Um, but he doesn't have any fucking spells right now. Oh, he doesn't. No, that's the problem I'm having. Um... Yeah, he's... Uh, he's only got a small number of spells. Yeah, uh, I'll be two seconds. I'm just doing it here. Um... I like the music. Go. Oh, I've clicked you like ten times. Work. He's good to go. Um, he has his spells management. Sorry. Uh, one is Iona. Two is Alamore. Three is Bonego Battleaxe. Uh, four is uh, Braylin. And five is Jankwe. 
Okay, so Jamal, you've got Braylon, right? Uh, yeah, I need to claim him. Uh, okay, cool. Um, it's like, I need a second to do that. That's all right. Um, so the only character I need to control is Vrax, right? Yes, okay, perfect. Because otherwise I'm just lost in translation right now. Um... Okay, claim that one. <laughs> cool. So, um, at this point, uh, we begin with me finding the encounter sheet. Here we go. Okay, it's Iona. Um... I looked, uh, I'll tell Iona, you go right, I go left. Um, Iona's going to uh, run up 15 feet to the boss. Um, yeah, like right there. Um, she's going to take one of her, uh, one of her attacks. Just a simple unarmed strike first to start. Oh, she rolled a natural on that first one. That's no good. Um, and she's going to take her second strike. 21. That will hit. Okay. Um, eight points of uh, eight points of blessing damage, and she's going to spend a key point Iona's on her. Hands are also magical, correct? Uh, they should be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, let me just double check for you. I'm pretty sure they are, though. You get that. We get that pretty early. Pretty sure they are. Yeah. Right now. Okay. Cool. That's fine. Pretty sure they are. I think everybody else has a magical weapon, so from now on, I'm going to stop asking that question. Yeah. You will just um, you can ignore that resistance. Okay. Cool. Um, I'll check out this anyway. And eight then damage. as a bonus action, yeah. She, uh, yeah, eight, eight points of blood damage, and as a bonus action, she's going to spend a key point and do patient defense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and that'll be her for now. Cool. Um, actually, she'll move up to the just one square up to be right in her grill. Yeah. Yep. Right there. Okay. Um, for reference, these are all five foot squares. Um, I hope they're visible to you all. I chose a color that I thought would be quite clear. Um, so you can get an idea of how far you are. Um, that brings us to Alamore. Okay, so the brown squares, I'm assuming it's like, I don't know. Do we have to stay on that? Or can we go on the snow? No, no, you can go, go on the on. snow. Okay. You can go stand on a tree if you want, but you might not have a line of sight. Yeah, no, I didn't know if it was like a platform or something. No. Um, so... Okay, so... Okay, cool. Um, so, <laughs> Alamar's gonna move two to the right. And then two up, he is gonna use his action to summon his wild oh, fire see. spirit. Let me go find something to uh. Yeah, you'll need your car too. Okay. Um, Shakar is that kind of size, right? Uh, if that's medium-ish. Oh, she's still medium? Yeah, she's still medium. Oh, okay, I thought she'd just become large. Okay, she's five foot. Fucking hell, Shakar gets big. Yeah, <laughs> and you want this... What is it? Wildfire? Elemental? Yes. Yes, okay, cool. Well, I don't know... Well, yeah, well, yeah. Should... As opposed to you casting right. summon elemental, yeah? No, yeah, 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 it's the wildfire spirit. Cool. Um, okay, and then that's fine, because he's got no one around him. Um, will his turn be taken after Alamar's? Yes. Okay. Um, okay, so that's my action. And then, do I have bonus action? 
Yes. Um, so that's because it's a fear, it's not a spell, yeah? So I can cast mm-hmm. a spell. Okay. Um, so you might want to get another counter because I am summoning a healing spirit. Oh, I'm not bothered about that. Yep. Uh, just That will be next to Alamore unless you say otherwise. Okay. And then... Yeah. Uh, summoned all the things. Thing moves in the spirit space. Okay, wait. What, how big is its space? Oh, uh, what? The healing spirit? What? The healing spirit? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Like, it'll fit in the same square as Alamore for now. No, no, no. You have to be in this, like, in the area of it to get the benefits. What's its radius? Uh, five foot. <laughs> yeah, okay. So that's okay. why I said, normally it's just summoned on top of him, unless he puts it somewhere else. Right? So at the moment it'll be him in the radius, and if he moves it to have someone else in the radius, it'll benefit them instead. Huh. Am I not explaining this properly? No, I get it. It's just, it like, because it says range slash area 60 feet slash 5 foot, but it only talks about a fi- that it appears 5 foot next to you. You so can cast it, feet. on the initial cast, you can cast it within that 60 feet. Um, but it only, yeah. pulses, it only pulses 5 feet from it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. As a bonus action on your turn, you can move it anywhere you like to then heal the person in that circle for, I think it's 1d6 hit points? Unless yeah, you've cast it at a higher spell. I don't think it's plus your spell. Oh, it is, yeah. Uh, no, it's a number of times oh, equal to the spell casting modifier. So, yeah, I suppose that is like 2d6, 3d6, 4d6. So, his spell casting modifier is 5. So, yeah, you can ca- he can heal for 5d6 um, overall, and you can use that 1d6 a turn. Uh, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> cool. So, for this turn, he's just going to stay next to Alamore, yeah, because no one's hurt. Uh, yeah, okay. okay. Right, please, we cannot have all of people's turns taking this long. Sorry, that, no, that's fine, I understand before. that, but we've, yeah, let's uh, let's rock on. That's a good start. Yeah. Okay, Braylon is up. Do me a favor, cast Braylon of Hope and go AFK. Oh, that's me, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, no, it's not, it's you, Jamal. Yeah, it is me. Yeah. Uh, I'm just looking at uh, the offensive stuff right now. Yeah, uh, a spirit weapon. There you go. Spiritual weapon and pass. Does he have spiritual weapon? No, he yeah, of course he does. Spiritual weapon. Of course he does. He's a life cleric. In fact, spiritual weapon's a bonus action, so cast fucking sacred flame as well. <laughs> yeah, uh, sacred flame does sound like a good idea. Okay. Uh, Dex, Dex. Uh, she yeah. is casting into chat. By the way, that's uh, nat twenty for her first roll. Good luck, guys. <laughs> Uh, right, yeah, uh, so Sacred Flame did nothing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so let's drop a, um, Spiritual Weapon 5th level. Uh, it's going to, um, jump to her and then take a swing. Yep. Wow. That's a Spiritual That's Weapon. That's not hitting for 15. Uh, nope, 15 does not hit. Right. That's his turn. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> um, right. Uh, around her, you see a vertical wall of whirling razor-sharp blades appear around her. Oh, wonderful. Lovely. Um, it is a circle around her, um, and you see that it is uh, of moving blades swirling around her. And... Uh, each one of you needs to make a wisdom save, please, as you see her open her mouth and begin to sing a song. It's like an ancient wail from a time past. Um, I can roll a save to... Okay, Vrax's save is there. Wisdom save, please, roll cannot check. Okay, Vrax passed. So far, no one succeeded. Uh, Brother Alari has succeeded. Also with a check Jankway instead of a save. Jankway got a 19. Jankway got a 19. You, Kenna? Uh, less. 13. Okay. 
every single person other than Brother Alari, Jankwe, and Vrax, you will be cursed. Um, you may repeat the saving throw at the end of your turn. While cursed, you have a disadvantage on saving throws and attack rolls. And you take 2d4 necrotic damage at the start of your turn. Maverick. Hello. <laughs> you take I 5 was... necrotic damage. Oh, okay. And your turn begins. Okay. What's the effect of the curse again, sorry? Uh, you have disadvantage on all saving throws and attack rolls. You may make a okay. saving throw at the end of your turn. Right, gotcha. Cool. Um, okay. I am going to move... Uh, hold on, let me count. Okay, yeah, I'm going to move uh, two spaces south. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I'm going to need her to make a constitution. Uh, what am I saving for? Yes. Oh. Called Blight. Called Blight? Yes. Okay. Um, that's a 15. Oh, nice. Um, so, uh, yeah. Zap, zap, everyone close their eyes, imagine cool magic things. Um, and that is 36 necrotic damage. As your three spirits circle around her, with black uh, flames coming out of them, she will take 36 necrotic damage. Oh, damn it, fuck. Okay, wait, before damn I fuck. did that... God damn it, I, fuck! Before I did that, I spent two sorcery po points to cast that as a bonus action. Okay. And I will also cast, um, oh, okay, this is disadvantaging it with my attack rolls. Yes. All attack rolls, we have disadvantage. Okay, that, that'll get less than that. That's that a 13. Yeah, that's my hearing. Okay. So that's my end of my turn. Okay. Uh, Jankwe takes... Wait, I need to make, uh, do my wisdom statement for her. Uh, yes, please do. I failed it. Yep, you did. Um, and that was without disadvantage. Uh, Jankway takes two necrotic damage, and his turn begins. Okay, he's going to run diagonally to the right uh, to try to hide behind a tree trunk. Oh, that's not how I thought you were going to play him. Have you read that dagger? Sick. Um, he is number five, right? Hold on, I'm reading yes, the dagger. Yes, yes. Yeah, that dagger is pretty incredible. Oh, that's extra. Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> She's got a wall of thorns around her, though. She does have a wall. She doesn't have a wall of thorns. It's yeah. blades. They are swords. Yeah, he, yeah you were right, right now, about the tree. Go hide. <laughs> You're right about the tree. Use the tree. <laughs> um, yes, he is uh, bonus action hiding, right? Yes. Yes, so okay, cool. Straight roll. Yes, uh, so straight roll. Ooh, uh, Wait, no, no, no. He, he succeeded his wisdom save, didn't he? He got a 19. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he's oh, yeah. rolling with advantage. Nope, not. Uh, it's 29, I think. 29 will definitely hit. 28. 28 will also hit. Eight. 28 points of damage. Hmm. Jesus. Uh, that's all physical base damage, right? Uh, yes. Cool. Yep. It's a plus one crossbow, okay. so it is magical. Yep. Um, that concludes turn. Yes. Brother Ilari, you're up. Uh, you take... You don't take any damage, you succeeded. Oh, yeah, heal Jankway up for two health. I completely oh, yeah. forgot he succeeded. Um, Ilari, you're up. Okay, so... The only way to get rid of a curse, I guess, would be a greater restoration. Do we have any more of that? That's the Benego zone. No, you need to be... Earlier. You need to have remove curse. Remove curse, remove curse. Got you. I do not have remove curse. <laughs> All right, well, it's going to be emboldening bonds on both mages and Rook and, um, uh... Sorry, uh, both mages being Maverick, Leobold, Rook, and Killian, Rick, yes? Leobold. Yeah, that's what you went for? Okay, cool. Um, who has already gone? Um, All the NPCs barring Bonego and Maverick. Uh, Maverick's getting the Sanctuary again. Okay. 
Um, and I don't have any good reason to move just yet, so I will stay put. Um, at this point, I need Rook, Kenna, Lush, Kelyan, Leovold, Alari, Maverick. Who's plus two? And Shikar to make a deck uh, save. She's not actually summoned yet. Oh, okay. Yep, cool. Um, the rest of you to take a deck save. As a column of flame is cast, she casts Flame Strike. Nice. That is. 23. Natural 20. 4d6. Bear with me a second. And 4d6. Okay. If you got less than a 19, you will take 35 points of damage. That is split into 17 Radiant and 18 Fire. Less than a 19? Yeah. How you didn't give Alan more fire resistance, I'll never know. Uh, he what should she, have fire resistance. What did she um, get? What did she... I got a 23. So if your damage is halved, you will take 17 damage. Uh, Minus eight of that fire. is fire and nine of that is radiant. So you will take nine radiant damage and four fire damage amounting to 13. Thank you. Nine okay. radiant and four fire. Uh, That's, so nine no, 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 no. That was only speaking to Kenna. Uh, oh, okay. What are you asking about? Uh, your, uh, you well, take... I've got a 22 and I've got resistance. So you will take 35, 17, 8. 8 damage. Right, 8 for each, yep. Okay. Anybody else yeah, have any questions have regarding radiant, it? The down. overall damage right. is 35. It's 17 uh, radiant and 8 in fire. Yeah. yeah. I was just wondering whether the radiant was mm -hmm. rounding down or up. That was all. Right Anybody by. else have any other questions? Yeah, I pass. Do I... How you much take, do I take? You take 17 damage. Okay. Okay. Cool. That was her legendary action to cast a spell. Uh, Kenny, you're up. Okay. Uh, bonus action, summon Shikar behind her, between her and the blue gem. Oh, shit. Sorry. Yep. Uh, by the way, you can walk all over this bit of floor. That is just a nice floor pattern. Okay. okay, you can also stand on the altar if you wish, but you'll have to jump onto it. Okay, I'm going to move to a tree on the left, just to have some cover. That's three quarters cover. Me? She's facing you. Um, she's currently looking southwest. Okay, so no flanking. Uh, I, I will flanking as there is an enemy in melee range of her. Um, so you get flanking if you are in melee range. Okay, so I yeah. can do a straight roll? Oh, no, also no. You, 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 you would need to be in melee range. That's what I'm saying. Gotcha. That's how I see okay. it. Um, I don't so, think it's any easier to hit somebody just because somebody else is standing next to them. Um, okay, I know we've had dis uh, flanking in the past for range, but I wasn't sure. Yes, that's if you are um, not seen by her, um, gotcha. which would okay. mean you uh, need to hide. Um, yeah, damage. I'm rolling it now. Um, it is... Oh, sorry. That's a six. Um, yep, and you will have disadvantage on the attack. Okay. Uh, well, oh, darn. That is a nat 20 and an eight, so that feels real bad. And what is your uh, eight plus? Uh, plus 15. Yeah, that will still hit. 23. Uh, that's double twelves, so... Okay. Uh, I do cold, piercing, and fire. Do I need to split any of those? No, I believe only... Yeah, we'll... I, I will let you know if I need damage, but it won't be you. 20 on the first hit? Yep. Yeah. 18 on the second hit. Mm-hmm. Nice. Um, Shikar will bite. Yep. Shikar will not have disadvantage and will have advantage because flanking. However, Shikar will also need to... <sighs> um, Make a dexterity save. Okay. Uh, because she is going to be in the blade wall. Okay, gotcha. 
Yeah, no, 13. Oh, fucking hell, let's not roll a 6100. That might kill her. <laughs> May have clicked the wrong dice there. Uh, in all fairness, this isn't looking particularly nice for either. That's 36 damage, slashing. Uh, okay, let me figure out how much health she has. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> how much damage are you saying? Uh, 36. Okay, she did not like that. Okay, well, she's... I can't imagine she did, to be honest. <laughs> she is doing a bite, and she did get a nat 20. Sick! By the way. Which is it. not much damage. Oh, but it is... 24. 24 damage? Yeah. Wow. Okay, not, not much damage. Um, <laughs> yeah. I rolled a 6 and a 4 on the 2d6s. Uh, let's go. Uh, there we go. Okay, um, does that conclude your turn? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, Actually, she oh. will... She will back up. Mm. That's probably a good idea. Uh, just the one step, or is she going to fly up onto the altar? Uh, she might go to the side. Not That's on top of the altar. Like that? Yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, she will then take a legendary action to make a swing at Iona. That is... Is this advantage? It is. Why? Why is Fish it... defense. Oh, yes. Patient defense. 18 to hit? That does not hit her. Okay. Uh, Killian. Perry. Sure. Um, how far is the blade aura sticking out? Um, it's, uh, is, uh, five feet thick, um, 20 feet high, and it is, uh, in, basically in the immediately adjacent squares. Okay, perfect. So, so I'm inside. going to, um, I'll focus for a second and breathe as I do the air gets distorted around me as I walk up straight. Uh, just right out of the blade range, and uh, I'll start to throw. Uh, as I start to punch, the air will get distorted as I'm trying to hit her. Um, I'm, so I'm about like right outside of it. What so are you doing? Like, Extending your attack range? Yeah, using the far reach wrappings. Um, yep, that's fine. Does that still count as flanking or no? Is it counted as a range attack for you, even though it's counted as a melee attack? I'm. I would call it a melee attack. Okay, so yeah, would so I be flanking? I flanking yeah, yeah, so you're rolling straight. Okay, great. Okay, great. Oh, yeah, you failed your roll, didn't you? Yeah, yeah I did. Failed. I'm going to take that damage. Um, six. Uh, Jamal, would you mind restarting the music that's currently playing? Uh, 22 on the first hit. That hits. Attack. All right, and the second attack. 23. They okay. both hit. Nice. Uh, 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Yep. Another 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend a key point. Flurry of blows. Okay. That's your one in the first. Yep. Uh, that's at the end of the second, so no. Okay. Does that conclude your turn? Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to step back a, a few more a uh, few more uh, boxes, like about 10 more feet back. Okay. Um, at this point, Rax... No, no, no. Uh, oh. I'm sorry. I, I want to step straight back. I, I don't want to go like toward this. the group. I want to stay. No, no, no. Ma uh, make your wisdom saving throw, too. Left. Right, okay. Yeah, right okay. there. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I make wisdom saving throw. A disadvantage. Is she, is she making concentration saves? For what? The blades. No. No, she's not. Good shout. James, why are you trying to cheat? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> that's a nat one right there. Fantastic, thank you for that. Uh, blade barrier drops. Uh, luckily, she's only hit one person with it. Well, yeah, so we're all good. Thank you, Kenna. I, that's a mechanic I would not even have considered at the time. Um, that's fucking hell. Too many things going on. Um, what did I say? Vrax. Yes, Vrax. That's what's happening right now. Vrax. Um, he's going to teleport over here. And we'll roll the attack roll into chat. Uh, that's a 28 to hit. Oh, that's not good. That's a 3d8 and a 2d6. 24, 32. Okay, cool. He does 32 damage and his turn is over. Um, as you see a black shadow blade appear in his hand and swipe it out. Rook, you're up. 
Alright, uh, I want to go... Am I able to get between Vrax and Iona on the other side? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Right, I, have, I have 40 feet of movement, so, right. I'll go yes. so, I'll, so I'll go between the two of them. Well, in that case, you can even take a little bit of a wider circle. Whoop, like that. Yeah, um, that's where you want to be. Did you, did you roll my damage? Uh, uh, no, not yet. Is that where you want to be? Uh, yeah, like right up against. Okay. Uh, you take six points in necrotic damage, and you're rolling straight, because you're flanking. Uh, and Laura, if you succeeded on your wisdom save, you're just no longer cast. Mm -hmm. Alright, I will take my first hit, and mash. Or, I'm gonna bonus action rage first, and then hit. Probably a good idea. Yeah, mash away. It's a 26 to hit. That'll hit. For 23 damage. You will need to split your damage up for me. Tell me how that is divided. Oh, so that's uh, 16 slashing. Mm-hmm. Uh, 3 psychic. Nah, uh, okay. And the psychic does nothing. Okay, and then 4 fire. Okay. And then I will attack again. Twenty-seven to hit. Mm -hmm. For fifteen slashing. Mm -hmm. And four more fire. Yep. And that is it, except my wisdom saving throw. Mm -hmm. Now I have advantage on against spells cast by creatures within five feet. Does this count as that or no, no since it's not this currently not being spell. cast? It's also not a spell. Alright, then yeah, my turn's up. Okay. Um, you failed the wisdom save, did you? Rook? Did you fail the wisdom save or succeed? Yeah, I, I, I failed okay. it. Cool, but then he goes it. up. Dinner else is back back. Alright, Bernego's drowning right in. Where is NPC Swing at a uh, straight yeah, roll. Swing, swinging away. Say seventeen to hit. That'll miss. Swing again. That'll hit. Twenty-four to hit. For nine slashing. Mm-hmm. That is a 19 to hit. That'll hit. For 13 slashing. Okay, fantastic. What was his um, damage at the start of the turn? Oh, yes. Get it. Four. Um, does that conclude his turn? Yep. Leobold, you're up. You take three points of necrotic damage. You can half that to one. Right. Go. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to run up towards the top left, sort of round near the edge of the pillar, or the outer thing. 20, 25, 30. About yeah, there. That, yeah, that yeah. there. Yeah, around there. And uh, I'm going to uh, cast a spell here. Uh... Uh, Rook, okay, can you do safe. a wisdom save for Bonego as well, please? Yeah. Uh, that's uh, 14. That's a fail. Yeah. Uh, should I do my wisdom save for breaking the thing now? or? Uh, wisdom saves at the end of your turn. Uh, at the end of my turn. Right, okay. Right. Unless that was the end so, of your turn. No, not the end of my turn. Uh, I'm casting Bigby's hand. Okay. Wonderful. I'm not bringing up... Uh, just... Uh, I... I have no more fucking things to stick okay. down. You can fuck off. It, it, it's okay. I'll, you I'll will remember exactly where it is at all times. Very good. No, it's okay. It's it's literally just going to fly up to uh, the boss yep. where it's flanking between like W and yep. three. Assume mm -hmm. that. And uh, you don't yeah, get a flanking bonus get... for summoned spells and weapons. Only for like, humans. I don't? No, only for humans in my world. 
Oh, okay. I well, don't think I'm the weapon has brains to work out when to use an opportunity attack. That's my logic behind that. I mean, uh, I mean, it yeah. is literally me your logic, exactly. Well, I, I definitely don't assume Leobold has brains. Um, wow. Roll the, <laughs> roll the, the fucking attack. <laughs> right, okay, it's going to be a melee spell attack, so let's yeah. go with uh, Firebolt examples of roll. That's 27. Yeah, I'll hit. Uh, and damage is... His hand is such a cool spell. I love big piece hand. Yeah, I'm going to punch her in the face for... Uh, let's roll four of those. Wow, that's not a great roll, but she's getting rolled in. She's getting punched in the face for fourteen damage. Fourteen, what type? Uh, force. Force damage. Okay, that's fine. Nobody in the history of life has been uh, resistant, resistant to, that. to force. Yeah. yeah. Uh, make your wisdom save and end your turn. Yeah. Yeah, my wisdom cool. save. Oh, yeah. No. Nope. Cool. You're still cursed. <laughs> okay. Um, Iona's up. Um, Iona's going to spend a. Yeah, she's going to... Alright, she... Let me see. 10 feet of her. Okay, what she'll do is uh, she'll walk back uh, a few feet. Did she uh, succeed just... her wisdom save, by the way? She didn't, did she? Uh, no, 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 she didn't. You give, please give her her necrotic damage. Uh, three. Okay. Carry on. Uh, three damage. Uh, she's going to walk back a few feet. Um, I'm not sure. This, this will give an opportunity attack. Mm-hmm. It's uh, not going to get used. Okay. Um... She's just going to activate her arms of actual self. Mm -hmm. um, oh, she didn't have to do that. Okay, um, so first, um, Lady Fury is going to have to make a deck save. It's a 15. Uh, it's a fail. She takes from the activation as she concentrates 10 points of force damage. <laughs> the arms flare out. Um, and she's going to go for her attacks. Okay. Um, um, she is still cursed, but, um, yes, yeah, so I just straight rolls. 24. Yep. Straight rolls, um, 24. she will parry that attack. Okay. okay. Giving five to uh, her AC and blocking. Oh, hold on. Uh, hold on. 24. 24. 23. No, she won't parry 24. that. Carry on. Okay. Okay. And the second one is a miss. Okay. Um, that will miss. Uh, for six points of uh, damage. Okay. Yep. Um, that's going to be. She's gonna step back a few more of it. Okay. And that's it for right now. Yep. Um, animal. It's, uh... Okay. So... Two points of uh, necrotic damage and um, yes. yeah. Don't forget to make a wisdom save on that one, please. Okay, so um, as his bonus action, he's going to move the healing spirit over to Maverick, and uh, yeah. and uh, and then um, he is doesn't have a mm, oh yeah he does okay and then he's rolling this at disadvantage. Okay, so roll the one d six first, Josh, for the, the healing on yourself. It's not one d six. It is. It's not. It's at 3d6. Healing Spirit? Yeah, I cast it at 4th level. Oh, okay. You cast it at a high level, sorry. Um, that's fine. Roll the 3d6 then to heal yourself. Yeah, it's 12. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, right now, that's the first time it's done. Um, 13 will miss. Um, yeah. Um, so that's the end of his turn. Make the Wisdom save. That's uh, 22. And you succeed. Nice. Okay, and then Wildfire Spirit um, is going to um, make a ranged hit. But that's not cursed, right? So I can just roll a straight hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. With my... Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a 24. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, and then that's a one d six plus proficiency modifier. Great, <laughs> that's seven fire damage. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, Braylon. Ah, Braylon. Um, let me 
me just reevaluate. Where's Braylon? I mean, what number's Braylon? Four. He's the only person who hasn't moved. Um, Josh, is there any chance you grab me a drink, darling, while you're waiting? Uh, Thank you. Okay, I'm going to do something a little bit uh, different here. Uh, how far is Lucius? I mean, Killian. I keep seeing the fucking... Yeah, Things 25 feet. Changed, yeah. I, yeah, I didn't have a second K. It was confusing. Yeah. Uh, right. I'm gonna have uh, Braylon run over to Killian. Mm -hmm. And uh, imbue those uh, hand wraps with a uh, holy weapon as a bonus action. Sick. So, every one of those attacks, do you want it deals an extra 2d8 radiant damage on here? And oh, then my as... TV. Hi. Why did you turn your cam off if you're going to walk onto mine? <laughs> uh, okay, so holy weapon cast. Josh, you're such an idiot. <laughs> Carry uh, on. And, yeah, I'm going to try for a uh, sacred flame. Okay, deck save on it. That's an 11. She fails. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, wow, that's 14 radiant. Sick. Shit, that's okay. big. Enter. Okay, um, Braylon had already succeeded his wisdom save in the past? No, he hadn't. Um, did I poke him with some necrotic damage? No, he didn't this time, no. Okay, make his wisdom save to succeed for next turn, and he takes three necrotic damage. Uh, yeah, that's 22. Okay, he succeeds. Right. Yes. And it's her turn. One's out. So, uh, this time I need a charisma save, please, from all of you as her song changes tune. I have advantage on this. Okay. I also, this. I can take a swing at her. Why? I am a mage slayer. She's not casting a spell. Never mind. I also don't have advantage. Ah, <laughs> uh, Vrax failed. 22. Okay. Failure. So, Me. if you got below a 19, um, and you are currently not cursed, you will be cursed. Okay? If you got below a 19 and you are currently cursed, your curse will be quickened. You will no longer have disadvantage on attacks uh, and uh, saving throws, but instead must make a charisma save, DC 19, before being able to attack directly. Before being able to attack Lady Fury directly. You will also now take 4d4 necrotic damage at the beginning of your turn. Well, if you succeeded, you will remove the effects of the uh, previous curse. Uh, no, you will just avoid having it quickened. Um, so if you were cursed and you succeeded, you're just still cursed. Okay? You must succeed in that saving throw on your turn. Um, cool. Uh, did that make sense to everybody? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah cool. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um, well, definitely, oh. I, I definitely cut out for the last part of that. If you succeeded, uh, if you succeeded and were cursed, you're just still cursed. It doesn't clear the previous curse. Okay, um, and she will. What is she gonna try and do? What is she gonna try and do? She's gonna swang. Um, who's she gonna swang at? Um. I think number three. Who the fuck is number three? Benagel. That's that's Benagel. Yeah, Benagel. Uh, that's a twenty-two to hit. Yep. An eighteen to hit. Nope. And a twenty-four to hit. Yep. That is twenty-nine damage. Okay. Got it. Uh, Maverick, you're. Up. Uh, are you one curse or two curse? Just the one curse I passed, charisma is something I can do. Yeah, I figured. That's, there's and, uh, a reason why I made these different saves. So you take five necrotic damage. Okay. Um, and I am going to... Um, well, I start my turn with the healing spirit, so I get that again, don't I? Yes. Uh, is it its turn, I think? It doesn't have a turn. Oh, in that no. case, you shouldn't have got the healing on your turn. Well, it says, on, it it says turn. Uh, for the first time on a turn, or starts its turn there. 
as in the creature that it's affecting. Kara, any idea? So the oh, first oh, time okay. it gets to it, then yes. And then, subsequently... Does, if he starts his turn next to Healing Spirit, does he gain healing? Or is it the Healing Spirit's turn? Uh, or Jamal or Kenner, if either of you know the answer. It, it's just uh, if he chooses, so until spell, whenever you're a creature, you can see moves into the spirit space for the first time on a turn, or starts his turn within that space. Right, cool. Um, yeah, you can choose to be like, okay, uh, I'll give you a heal. Yeah. Uh, so technically, Josh, you can't move it and heal on the same turn, but you, that's fine. That was my mistake, so roll for the healing again. Okay. Make sure you're keeping count of these, yeah? He only gets five heals, yeah. No. Oh, oh by, the, by the way, no action required for the heals. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is the second time. That's 12 healing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Uh, okay, so I'm going to use two sorcerer points to... Wait, before I... Mm, yeah, before I do this, she's got a sword, right? She does. Okay, yeah, okay, I'll do that next turn if I have a next turn. <laughs> um, so before I do that, I'm going to use two sorcerer points to uh, make this a bonus action. Um... And I'm gonna cast false life on myself um, at the fourth level, giving me 21 temp HP. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, I roll at disadvantage. Yeah, that's a, that's low enough. Um, so that's the end of my turn, and then I do the wisdom saving throw, and uh, that's a 17. That's fair. 19 okay. is the DC for everything. Um, bear in mind, if you are under second curse, you need to make a charisma save, not a wisdom save, yes? Cool. Um, after that, she will use her reaction. Uh, no, her reaction. She will use a legendary action. I apologize. Um, she's going to teleport to here. And she does not provoke any opportunity attacks. Jankway. Um, one curse, two curse, no curse. Uh, no curse. No curse. Okay, uh, fantastic. Well, thankfully, she's the same distance away, so he's going to run 35 foot in to her. <laughs> I just realized what you meant. Yep. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Yep. Is he flanking? No. No. Okay. Because she sort of just uh, teleported there. She hasn't really, like, attacked anything or, or and isn't being attacked, so, yeah. That's a 25 to hit with the dagger. That'll hit. Uh, then it's all of these. All of these. <laughs> uh, 14 nice. acid. Um, Jamal knows that dagger very well. Yeah. 12. 27. 27 piercing damage. Nice. Uh, he will then take a step back. Mm. Yeah, sure. Yes, he will. He okay. has mobile, so she can't hit him anyway. Uh, ah, right, yes. I think I did that. <laughs> I think I did that, yes. That is a thing. Um, <laughs> Alari, um, does a uh, 18 hit you? AC? 18. AC? Yeah. Uh, quick, he's going to bonus action he's dash back to the okay. tree, FYI. Uh, oh, bye. Um, cool. Uh, Brother Alari, your turn is up. Are you currently cursed at all? I need you to activate your microphone and then talk. Tell me a sentence instead. Are you currently cursed, Brother Alari? I am not cursed. Fantastic. That's what I like to hear. Um, cool. What are you going to do? That is a good question. I wasn't expecting her to be standing behind me. <laughs> <laughs> good! Uh, Alari is going to uh, activate his Balm of Peace, and he's going to calmly walk away from her. What is Balm of Peace? <laughs> Balm of Peace is that fun little thing I do where I can't, I don't provoke, um, uh, Packs, and if I get within five feet of anyone, then they can heal for some amount of health. Okay, so I'm gonna try go. to do a lap. Uh, let's see, <laughs> can I get 
closest to, because I'd love to get it as close to any as many people as possible, honestly. How much is your movement speed? 35. Thanks to these pants. You can get to 136, the spiritual weapon, I don't think you're going to heal that. Um, Kelly, Killian and 4. I, I'll and, take that. And Rook, right? Yes. It's a Rook. Yeah. Is there a chance you can hit Shakar? So. Mm, you could alternately hit four Killian, Shakar, and Leobald. Rook's real hurt, though. Mm. Shakar doing? She's I, pretty I bad. Health, but we do. I, I, I have a lot of health, so don't worry about me. We I'll do have two clerics. Um, okay, or you, alternatively, you can go this way, Is because I don't think Killian's in any way hurt. Not really. And that's a cleric, so yeah, go this way. Um, let's see if we can do this. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. You can skip Leobald and get everyone else. Let's go. Um, okay, so you're hitting with a fox number three. Benego? Benego, yeah. How much are you hitting for each time? That's a good question. It's going to be 2d6 plus 5, so let's find out. Uh, it's really only 13, but, you know. Okay, 13. Rook. Mm. Or we're just going to do 13 for everyone. That's so much easier. Rook, 13. Um, 6 is... Oh, fuck me. That's Vrax. All right. We're not hitting the spiritual weapon. 13 for Shakar. And he she, he didn't get to leveled. Okay. Kenna, one curse, two curse. Oh, sorry, Brother Alari. Any other... Anything else going on in that turn? Sure. Who's already gone that needs a sanctuary? <laughs> uh, it's... Probably... Maverick again? Probably. Yeah, it's gonna be Maverick. Because, oh, what's the range on Sanctuary? It's pretty far. Um, 30 feet? That's not far enough. Anyone but Maverick. 35. Um, he, well, you move 35 from the back of the boss. Um, he could really use the Sanctuary, but it's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. Um, he guess I could have passed it before I left. <laughs> oh well. Um, give it some Leobald or uh, they're the furthest yeah, away. Leobald's the furthest away for return. Is that off for Leobald? Okay, cool. Um, FYI, she's gonna hit Maverick, so because he's right next to her. Um, Kenny, you're up. Uh, one curse, two curse. Uh, no curse. No curse. Good you. Beast. Oh, did I need to make a curse? Wait, how are you no cursed? Shikar? Oh, because you wisdom saved at the end of your previous turn. No, mm -hmm. uh, Shakar does not need to make any saves against this. Okay. Um, it's a 27 and 18 to hit. I'm just assuming that Shakar's not particularly appreciative of music. Uh, the 18 will miss. Okay. Oh, bonus action, Hunter's Mark. Okay. Thirty-two points of damage. Mm -hmm. mm. She's not looking good. Um, Shikar has a. Uh, good forty feet. Can she? She can reach down there. Yeah, she can. Alari walked thirty feet up there, so I can only assume that Shikar can fly forty feet down. Um, no, she can't do much. She's just gonna try to bite. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, it's well over 20 to hit. Uh, how high over 20? Uh, it's... Should look at... 3 plus plus 7, 26. Okay, yeah, go on. She's in danger range, she'll parry anything right now. Uh, 7. Yep. Fire damage. Okay, that would have been a complete waste of a parry, you right. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, does that conclude her turn and yours? Yes. Okay, Killian. One curse, two curse. Killian? Oh, oh two curse, sorry. About two that. curse, yeah? Yeah, two curse. Uh, that's a 44 of damage. Mm-hmm. 
That's uh, 10, I think that says. Yes, 10. Uh, necrotic damage. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make the charisma save first mm. before I can do anything. You can walk up to her. You just will have to make a charisma save to hit her. Okay. Um, let me just go a bit interesting there. Use the cameras Oof. for a sec. 19. Uh, 19 on your charisma save? Yes. That is Strangely. what you need. <laughs> Damn. Um, yeah, um, breaking through that, I'm, yeah, I'm going to rush up, hopefully, to try and uh, save Maverick. Um, oh, just a heads up, in general, you will have to, uh, you need to move up first in future. Um, sorry. Oh, I the Christmas save? Oh, yeah, the, the Christmas you have to Christmas save when you make the attack, right? Oh, okay, okay. Otherwise, okay. you get to decide not to move up because you didn't get to attack. Gotcha. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Uh, cool. Um... Okay, yeah, I'm going to go up and I'm going to attack. Okay. Um, uh, oh, three is Shakar, right? Yeah, you're flanking. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, three is not Shakar, plus two is Shakar. Oh, that's plus two, sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, I don't know why she's in Shakar. Well, Shakar is in her. Better hope that it's just the other way around. Uh, yes, okay, that'll hit. 20 in the first one. Chomp the jaws over the head. Apple also hit. Oh, okay. So, one second. Ten. Eight. Eighteen points of bludgeoning damage, and yep. because of the far-reaching wraps, I do extra. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so... That is also ten okay, points of force stop damage. There. Stop there. Okay. Uh, you are knocked backwards at that point. Um, as she looks to be taking a fucking beating. Uh, so is Maverick. And Shakar, probably a little less. She's probably a little heavier. Um, at which point you see that her hair turns a white flame. Oh. Her eyes glaze with golden light. And... I really should have put these in the same encounter. Um... Because I need to... Put in all the initiatives all over again. Give me two seconds. Oh, no. Uh, it's 23 on Kenna. It's uh, leveled, like, down there somewhere with, like, a 5 or something. Yeah. Uh, Killian's on a 10. Brother Lurie's on a 16. Uh, I had a 13, not a 23. Uh, that is a big type. How can you see that? I, I just remember. How can you see me typing it, is what I meant. You said... Out loud. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, Maverick. I didn't even realize it. Maverick's on a 19. Rook is on a 10. Iona's on a 24. Bonego's on a 6 or six. something. Yep. Uh, yeah. Braylon's on something stupidly high, like a 22. Uh, Janque is on 18. Alan Moore. Oh, okay. I've typed 18, so I'm going to keep it that way for now because that's what I did originally in the original fight. Animal's on a 23, and I have absolutely no idea what Vrax was on, but he went after Rook and before Benego, so he'll be on 7. Nah, he went before Rook. Did he? Yeah, oh, Rook yeah, yeah, he's, he's on a 10 as well. He's on a 10 as well, yeah. That's right. Um, Cool. And she moves to the top of the initiative. Stuff. Ooh. Let's go. Okay. Welcome to phase 2, my friends. Where I can't click buttons. Cool. And uh, let's bring up my game log. Let's make sure we send to everybody. And let's lock it. There we go. Okay. There we go. Let's have a stream back. And it will be immediately her turn. As we will start the initiative order again, but with her at the top. Okay, so the, the, the rest of my damage is gone now. Don't Just, worry about it. Yeah, you don't have to think okay, about okay. anything else except for the fact that, yeah, that's the end of that. Um, and you will also need to make a constitution save as she lets out what appears to be a shriekingly loud song. It is again DC 19. Fail. Okay, this is going to be majorly complex. So, if you got below a 19 and you have no curse, you will get phase one of the curse, right? Mm -hmm. If you get below a 19 and you had one curse, you will get two curse. Back to the quickened. Which means that you need to make a Christmas save for attacking Lady Fury directly, and you take 44 necrotic damage at the beginning of your turn. Anybody have two curses on them already and fail? I have three curses on me currently. Lucky you. You take... Uh, Bonego does as well. 
Okay. Unless he's... He actually, never mind. He might succeed Constitution. Oh, he, never mind. Benego doesn't. He's succeeded. Okay, you have... You take 35 uh, radiant damage. Right now? Right now. Yes. You will now take 8d4 radiant uh, necrotic damage at the beginning of your turn. Shit, How does 8d4 35? No, you just took 35 radiant damage for failing it. And oh. at the beginning of your turns, you will be taking 8d4 oh, okay. necrotic damage until Shit. you make that save. We got a clock. But when you save, you go back to the be beginning, right? You go clean. You don't go back a stage, you go completely clean. Okay. When you go sa when you save on your turn. Okay. Um, she is also going to attack. Uh, her first attack will be on... Oh, maybe not. We're not going to go that way. Uh, Leobald. Um, that is a 31 to hit you. Yeah, nothing saving that. Okay, cool. Um, that's 25 damage. Uh, slashing. Then. Okay. Uh, yes. Or is it 12 12, or 12, 12, 12, 12, all rounded right. down. She will then teleport with her second attack to Brother Alari. And that is a 21 to hit. That just beats it. Okay, that's 21 slashing damage. And then she will finish off by teleporting to Iona. That's a 14 to hit, which will miss, I'm assuming. That's a miss. And yeah. that is where she will end her turn. Which is ironic. I don't know quite why I did that, but she doesn't know the initiative order. It's Iona's turn. Great. <laughs> right, um, uh, Iona's just going to turn around. And, uh, she's, Punch her in the face. She's going to attack. Um... Yep, 24 on the first one. And a 21 on the second. Okay, uh, the 21... Yeah, they both hit. Um, okay. I'm not going to parry that. It's fine. Okay. I will remember to use a reaction on her at some point, though. 10 points of force damage. <laughs> yep. And 7 points of force damage. Okay. Um. She is going to spend a key point to make it a stunning strike. Okay. Uh, uh, DC. That's DC a con 16. save, right? Mm hmm. Con save. Okay. That's a 19. Okay. Um, bonus action key point. She is going to flurry of blows. Mm -hmm. 27. Mm -hmm. And 13. One more hit. Uh, six points of uh, bludgeoning damage. Yep. Okay, does that conclude her turn? Um, yeah, she's gonna stay. Yep. Okay, animal. Um, okay, where did the uh, healing spirit go? Uh, it's uh, where you were. Me. So oh, it's, it's followed me. Uh, no, it's where you were, which is here. Oh, okay, good. So, uh, as a bonus action, I am going to move it all the way up to Rook. Um, and you will Have get... You, can it move 30 feet? Yes. Can it move out of... Uh, more than 30 feet away from Alamo? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, that's not so. the way... That's not more than 40, 30 feet away, away from Alamo anyway. Feet. Cool, yeah, yeah, carry on. As you were. Um, uh, that is and no, awful healing. Okay, that's that 8 healing. healing will be applied at the beginning of Rook's turn. That's the mistake we made. Oh, yeah. right. You've moved it. He starts his turn in it. Um, yeah. Just a heads up, I... Oh yeah, Rook will start his turn and then move. So yeah, that's absolutely fine. Okay, we'll just have to remember where it is. Okay. Um, hold on, hold then... on two seconds, hold on two seconds. I'll find something. Um... Nope, that's a map. That's not going to help me. Uh, we're going to call it Ealing Spirit, all right? <laughs> it's an healing spirit. Um, it's currently over here. It's ironically yep. exactly the same color as Rook. Um, brilliant. Okay. okay. Um, and then, uh, oh, and he, um, sorry, he needs, he's got rank one of the curse. So what, how much damage? Uh, he takes three. Did Iona have a curse on her? Um... Sorry, I can't. This is why I didn't roll, run the characters today. I can't keep track of more than yeah, one. No, I'll, I'll give you one second. One second, one second, one second. Uh, we definitely understand why. <laughs> That's uh, complicated. Here. 
Oh. No, I believe she oh. saved. I believe she saved. It's in my log, and she also Somebody didn't. vacuuming. She also didn't make a save at the end of her turn, so we'll say she saved. That's fine. Um, cool. Uh, sorry. Uh, carry on with Alamo. Okay. Um, and so he rolls with disadvantage, even though that's a nat twenty. Um, it's a nat twenty. I can't trip. Does so an eighteen hit? Nope. All right, then that's the end of his turn, and then his wild fire spell. Josh, you do know that you can move Healing Spirit and cast a spell, right? You don't have to cast a cantrip. But it's a bonus action. Part you, of the spell. You can use a bonus action and an action. Moving Healing Spirit is not a spell, it's just a bonus action. It doesn't count as using the spell. No, moving yeah. it doesn't. Same as spiritual oh. weapon. Which, by the way, Braylon still has up. Um... <laughs> just heads oh, up, Jamal. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, in if you want to take that as the first of three hits, you can cast like scorching ray if you want. Um, or you can just leave it at that for now and deal with it next turn. Yeah, I'll just deal with it next. Okay. Turn. Cool. Um, okay. Uh, and then my wildfire, wildfire spirit is here. Yeah. Yes, and it's gonna roll to here. Does it not need to be in melee range? No, it has a ranged. Oh, it cool. only has a ranged weapon attack. Okay. The other, the other thing it has is a teleportation. If you haven't guessed, um, Alibor has cast Fireball to every single turn that I've played him since the beginning of time. Um, <laughs> go on. He have Fireball because he's a druid. But I guess no, yeah. I've just used Fireball off Jamal's spellbook. <laughs> Carry on. And uh, yeah, that's gonna miss. Uh, Kira, you've lost a face, by the way. Oh, there we go. Welcome back. Um, no, I was reading something. Okay, yeah, yeah, but your face vanished. Uh, speaking of spiritual weapon, uh, Braylon, one curse, two curse, three curse? Braylon, two curse. Two curse. Four necrotic. No, damage. wait, no, Braylon... One Braylon, curse. Braylon, no right? curse? He failed his con save, right? That's the only one he's failed. No, he part... Yeah, he failed the con save. Yeah. Uh, he didn't have a, uh... He takes he five necrotic damage. He has disadvantage on attack rolls. Um... Okay. Five necrotic. Let's do that real quick. Okay, well, turns out I was kind of lucky with Brayden because I wouldn't have been using the spiritual weapon last turn anyway because the uh, bonus action was empowering um, empowering those uh, hand wraps. Okay, right, cool. Good start. <laughs> yeah, good to go. Uh, that was 11 necrotic damage for Brayden. Oh, no, 11. No, it wasn't. Five, 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 five. Sorry. Yeah, five. Right. right. Okay, go. Right. Okay, bonus action. Spiritual weapon's going to take its hit. Oh, is it? I might need to move first. Oh, wait, 5, move 10, 15, 20, 25? Yep, yeah, cool. Go. Yeah. That's Shakar. That's Shakar, yes. Yes, that is Shakar. It was W for weapon. I knew it. I knew I yeah. did something logical. <laughs> which is really annoying because it's called Strix. That's, uh... You need to clean them up sometime, didn't you? Holy shit. <laughs> I'm doing it now! It's because I'm using them for something different. I don't normally grab my character from a campaign that doesn't exist anymore just to whack somebody around the head with a spiritual weapon. Yeah. Um, somebody please keep that music going. Go on, 24 hits, roll damage. Uh, 11, that's... sick. Uh, Action? Yeah, ooh, he has guiding bolt. He does. Uh, oh, wow. yeah. gonna... uh, you are aware he's a life cleric, right? Yeah. You are aware that people are getting spanked, right? Go on, please cast so Guiding Bolt. He's really badly fucking wounded then. <laughs> Lari's not looking great. <laughs> and he's your other healer. Uh, Rook's also yeah. got 65 HP missing, but he is at 50 HP. Um, right, okay. Alamor and right, Iona aren't in a great place uh, either. Lari's looking beat up, right? Uh, yeah. Um, I, nobody is looking good. Excuse you. Apart from, you, from Benegal, Battle Axe, and Maverick. And 10 HP. <laughs> Okay, how far away is uh, Alari? Uh, 15? 15 feet. Right, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna uh, waddle on up to him and uh, cure wounds That's at 4th uh, nice level. That's very nice of you. He would appreciate that. <laughs> That's going I to made be... him to, to heal. If you don't heal, you are going to die in this fight. That's <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, that's Thanks. that's my turn then. Yeah, okay. he, he needs to heal every turn otherwise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wins. Right, um, Maverick, one curse, two curse, three curse? Um, one I'm curse, on right? Two. You're on two curse. Okay, 44. Yeah. Uh, you will need to make a charisma save to cast a spell on her. Wait, um, does Raylan have to um, roll Make a wisdom save at the curse? end. Yeah, of your turn. 
Um, just like 12 sorry? necrotic damage. Um, with, uh, with... He's got one curse? Yeah, one curse. Wisdom save. Um, but that's uh, half down to six, though, because I've got resistance. You've got necrotic resistance? Yes. Okay, cool. That's fine. Okay, cool. Um, I no longer roll on disadvantage, right? No, you need to make a charisma save to cast a spell at her. Okay, cool. That's a uh, 22. Yep. Cool. Why am I not cool. seeing that? It's taking lagging for shit. Okay, yep, yeah, cool. Go. Okay, cool. Fuck me. No, nothing. No, that's an app one, I'm afraid. That ain't helping you. Okay, Jankway, one curse, two curse, three curse. One nope. curse. One curse. Okay, I thought he might even be no curse at this point. He's done quite well. Seven. Necrotic damage. Um, okay. And he's hiding in a bush, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, he will run up opposite to uh, Viona. Yep. And therefore he'll be flanking and will have a straight roll. Sorry, James, just real quick. Mm -hmm. um, did, I need, did I need to make a roll at the end of my turn to get yes. out of Yes. How many curses have you got on you? Two? Two. You need to make a charisma save. Okay. Oh dang, that's a net 20 with a rogue. That's a 28. Yeah, you're fine, you're clean. No cards. Great. Um, yep, yeah, net 20 is great. Uh, go kill him. Do the deeds. Double the acid damage as well, by the way. I think yeah. that, I, I might say a flat amount, but it shouldn't be. No, it's a, it's 3 It is six. a dice, yeah, okay, cool. At one point, I made a second version of a dagger with just flat numbers, so I didn't have to do any rolling for NPCs. <laughs> but I can't remember which characters. I think it's Starling. Starling's bow is flat damage. 56. All right. That's a thing. Cool. So I can walk up behind him, stab him 56 damage. That's great. Um, yep, yeah, does that conclude his turn? He will run back to his tree. He's one curse. Wisdom save. Yep. Uh, five. Okay, he's failed. Not even um, four. Yep, uh, Brother Alari, one curse, two curse, three curse? I don't believe I'm cursed. No, I don't think you're cursed either. Um, cool. Your turn. Cool. There's a lot of people that have little boo boos, and the one person who's really hurt. Nope, two people that are really hurt. Yeah, uh, I own is not looking great. Right. Okay. Um, where is our Alari counter here? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and away from the boss. If you want to get to Iona, you'll have to do that. You could potentially the attempt to... I don't mind any of the boss. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, you're still gonna... Yeah, yeah, you, you might as well just not stand next to her because you, you're you gonna run out of movement speed. You're gonna have five foot left when you get to Iona. Oh, hold Alari, on, hold I can on. get you. Can we bend you like this? Yeah, we can. Yeah, that's fine. Um, okay, so that's number four. Uh, what's how much healing is it, please, Solari? Thirteen again. Okay, uh, Braylon, thirteen. Oh, fucking Vrax, thirteen. Um, number three. Bonego. Bonego, 13. Rook, 13. Iona, 13. And Alarian's just there. Uh, okay. Um, any bonus uh, action, Alari? Then on my bonus action, I'm going to cast Mass Cure Wounds. Not Mass Cure Wounds. Mass Healing Word. Yeah. Uh, 60 feet, who's right? Still needs to, who is still hurt? Yep. That's going to hit everyone. I can reap. Uh, Even Kenna. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so how much does it heal? Uh, fourth level, sorry. That's alright. It's not a simple fight. Eight. And that one's eight. Yeah, it's a depressing one, mass healing word, isn't it? It never quite does it's what you to... expect it to. It's up to six people, so... Oh, it's up to six? Yeah. Um... Put it on your own characters. Yeah, it's the easiest way to do it. Heal your own characters, guys. 8 HP. Uh, Maverick doesn't need it, so I'll give it to Alamore instead, Josh. 
Cool. Uh, Alari, does that conclude your turn? That's me. Okay. Uh, I'll give everybody a reassuring thumbs up. She is going to take a legendary action here and cast a spell. Every single one of you needs to make a dexterity save. She is going to make fire rain from the sky. Can I please pass one? Uh, this will hit everybody other than... No, never mind. It's going to hit everybody. She's even going to cast it on top of her own head. Um, it's 51 damage if you get uh, above below a 19. Ooh, I own it. It's hurt. <laughs> I think 51, you Josh say. survived with 10 HP. 51 Good. fire? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't pass. Life. No, but you still survived, right? Because you had the 10 HP. Yeah, but you said that's 51 if you... No, that's it's 51 if you fail. Oh, yeah, and yeah. 25 oh, yeah, yeah. if you I, pass. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. If you have fire resistance, you yeah. will take 13 fire Thank damage. God. Oh, thank God. And if oh, you're a monk, yeah. you can tell everybody to fuck off. Um, <laughs> the base damage is 51 if you failed. And it's all fire? Uh, all I mean, fire. It's, you it's firestorm. Alamal should have fire resistance, right? Yes, he's meant to have fire resistance. He does on my character sheet, but you can't have Alamal's character sheet that I have because it has spoilers. So, yeah. I mean, I can add it. Yeah, sure. I just manually add it. That's how I did it. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Hey, Billy's hand is still alive. That's impressive. Um, (laughs) Brayden, concentration check for Holy Weapon, or did that break last time he got spanked? Oh, Uh, oh, shit, concentration check. Uh, I'll do that right now. What what is it I need? A nat 20? Does he have a warcaster? (laughs) No, what did he get hit by? He he took like 8 damage, didn't he? Yeah, that was uh, like... Oh, oh, yeah, he's got a warcaster. Um, yeah, he's definitely got Warcaster, and he's got, he made his deck save, right? Yeah, help. he made his deck save. So that will be half of 25 damage. He only needs a 13. Wait. So, uh, he did make his deck save, right? Let me, let me double check. Yes, he did. You rolled a 20. Um, right. yeah, so he needs a 13 with advantage. Uh, on a con save. On a con save, with advantage. Yes. Brennan is a properly built Yeah, 13. Concentrator. 16. Yes. Cool. Right, marvellous. Um. Excellent. And with that, Kenna. You're up. One curse, two curse, three curse. <laughs> uh, one curse. Cool. You take three points of necrotic damage and will attack with... Well, yeah, you'll attack with disadvantage. No, I won't. No? I'm going to run to the spot below Shakart. And I'm going to plant the Rod of Alertness. Everybody has a plus one to AC and saving throws. Nice. Any bonus action? Nope. Cool. Uh, what's the radius? Uh, did you... Uh, you still have uh, Hunter's Mark up? Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, I, I did. Yeah, yeah I, I trust you with that one. You made me make a concentration section. I'm not going to forget your own. <laughs> um, Killian, one curse, two curse, three curse. I have one curse. 2d4 damage. Uh, that's a five, Necrotic. Okay. Um, all right. Alari, how, how are you feeling? Uh, on fire. Okay. Um, okay. Um, In all fairness, I'm just going to just tell you something. I ran this test fight with all these NPCs three times. Right? At no point was Maverick still alive at this point when I ran it. So congratulations um, and good and job. You know what? I never <laughs> cast false life. You know what? That's because no one can play Maverick like how I. Well, it's all, <laughs> yes, but I I never cast yeah, false life. So props to that. Yeah, I'm really impressed. Okay. Um, um, yeah. So I am going to. Um. I'm going to oh. run over. Um. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's okay. I heard her. I got it. Thank you. <laughs> I was about to move Kenna. Carry on. Okay. <coughs> I'm going to... Oh, sorry. Sorry. Shakar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shakar. Go, oh, go, go. Oh, yeah. Shakar got to go. Shikar. Go, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Where's she going? 
I just run it up, biting. But she missed, so it's fine. Okay, cool. But she's over there somewhere, right? Yeah, but next to the holy weapon. Or the spiritual weapon. Yep, yeah, cool. On the left. Sorry, carry on, Lucius. No problem. Um, you open Lucius right now. Just go. Okay, I'm, okay so I'm going to run <laughs> over next to uh, Iona. Um, as I get over there, it's time for you to go. And I'm going to touch her shoulder and cast face 40? up on her and put it next to the healing. Yeah, 40. So I have 55 max. Okay, cool. Right, carry but um, yeah, I'm going to go next to uh, the boss I'm flaking with Shakar. Yeah. Um, I'm what did to you touch do to Iona? I cast face up on her and sent it next to the healing spirit. Yeah. Mm. Okay, carry on. Is that the right thing to do? Actually, you know what? I, I'm, I'm going to resend that. I'm going to cast it on Alari. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting Alari out there. Out of there. <laughs> I'm getting Alari out. I'm casting face up on him. 30 feet. He's, he's out. He's gone. Um, uh, and I'm going to now attack. <laughs> yep. Uh, you, you needed to keep Iona there to be flanking. Yeah. Yeah. So that was good. Um, you are flanking. 20, 23 on the first. Uh, is that with advantage? Um, I have first. I have one curse. Oh, you have one curse. Yeah, cool. I have one curse. Straightforward yeah. it is. Yeah. Did I kill? Did I hit you? Yes, I did. I hit you, and then we then we did Shakal's turn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, both so, of those hit. So, okay. Great. Um. All right. So first one is eleven points of bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. Second one is eight points of bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. Plus with the wraps, you also take an additional. Um, I six like points of the force damage. Stop damaging her and stop damaging me. <laughs> you take more damage. <laughs> I've had enough uh, of you. <laughs> six points of force damage on uh, top of taking fifteen points of radiant. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to, <clears throat> I'm going to spend a key point flurry of blows. Mm -hmm. Just a heads up, you guys have now cycled through almost every damage type. You found out she's immune to psychic damage. And that she doesn't seem to be resistant to anything else. Okay. 22. Um, 20, 22? Yes. Okay, and the second one is 27. That also hits. Okay. I need to give you, like, triple disadvantage, these fucking monks, man. So, seven points of bludgeoning damage, six points of bludgeoning damage. Somebody just die? Oh, someone did die. Uh, on top of oh, seven Josh. points of force. Okay. And... She takes... 13 points of uh, Radiant. Holy weapon on you was a good plan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. I like that. Um, cool. Uh, does that conclude your turn? Um, yep. That's that's me. Okay. Rook. One curse, two curse, three curse. Three curse. I might be dead right now. You might be. That's 17 necrotic damage. I have six health. We're alive. What, yep. Do you not have rage up? I oh, do, you're Berserker. Just... You're Berserker, yeah. 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 I forget you're not. Uh, yeah. Bear. Um, I... <laughs> I have the... Uh... I only ever have fucking bears around. So, yeah. at the start of my turn, what does the uh, the little E do? Is the healing spirit going to heal? We, we, will we know? Josh? Yes. Oh, why is your camera off? That's really annoying. Um, Yeah, cool. Uh, Do the healing spirit thing. Uh, or do you want to do the healing spirit thing on the rook that's nearly dead? Well, I can do it at each of their turns, right? Yep. Yep. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. Oh, no, you so... might just be spiteful. <laughs> that's, uh... Oh, no, fuck, that's the wrong spell. I wish I would, could give you 16. <laughs> 44 um, plus 5 would be a little much right now. Uh, that six. is... 9. Okay. Alright. Okay, I guess. Before I move, I'm going to bonus action, drink my superior healing potion that you gave us a long time ago. I did. Back in the How day. much is that? I don't know, you read the superior healing potion. I think it's... 8d4 plus, plus 8. 8. Yeah. Alright. Yes, it gave a drink on a Monday. Uh, by the way, Kira, I've been cheating in your campaign since day one. I just found out that I can't ritual cast spells that aren't prepared. I hate you. Mm. <laughs> I, I, right, apparently so... it's only wizards. Uh, <laughs> didn't know that. <laughs> totally <laughs> discovered that recently. Oh! Yeah, not Jamal okay. doesn't know that either. I know he's done that in Milton. Um, right. Yep, yeah, cool. I regained 29 hit points. Cool. Okay. Um, do I have to do anything with my curse before I take an action? No, you I just guess. get smacked in the face like I did. Um, oh, your uh, three curse. Yes, yes, you need to yeah. uh, make a charisma save uh, when you get there. 
you need Prismar to get there constitution. first. You, you're Prismar go constitution. You're going there, right? You want to yeah. hit her? Okay. You need uh, to walk there well, first. Well, yeah. Before and then I make go the over, save. Should, yeah. Before I go over there, I just want to yell. I said, "Why do you? Uh, why do you keep running away from me? Are, are you scared? I'm going to take your castle, and then I'm going to run in." Okay. Yep. And constitution save. <laughs> Oh, it, was a, it was charisma, it was charisma, not con. Sorry. Can you imagine if this whole time Luke charisma, was actually exactly. just a tax collector and he's like, I'm here to fall clothes on your home, bitch. You haven't been paying. <laughs> okay, you can't attack her. And even if you could, it would be with disadvantage. So, yes, that is a fail. Um, so, you will stand there. I can't do anything? You will stand there. Can I still use an action? End. Can I use an action to not attack? That was your action. Trying to attack. Trying to attack was your action. Yes. Oh, okay. Once you Wait, why my, attack, my rage doesn't end though? You didn't attack during your turn. But I I took damage though. I, since I took damage, I don't think it ends. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. It's only if you don't take damage till the next round, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm and pretty then sure yeah, okay, cool. That's fine. Um oh. and Nago is next, right? Uh Vrax. Oh. Um where is he? Up here somewhere? Stress. Yeah. Um, he teleports. Um, by the way, he's about to die. Um, I'll just mention that slightly. He's got two hit points. Um, <laughs> but he don't give a fuck. He's going to teleport over. And he's going to stab a bitch. Um, that is... A 60... 29 to hit. Uh, no, no, sorry. That's a 21 to save. Fifteen plus thirteen, twenty-eight to hit. Fourteen, thirty-two, forty-five. Cool. Back's down. Um, Vanego. All right, Vanego is going to. He's level two curse. Okay, he takes. 44 necrotic damage. 8 necrotic damage, and he will be attacking at disadvantage. Uh, right, except he won't, because he'll be flanking. Because right. everyone's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna this bonus bitch. action, second wind. Okay. Four. Bro, D&D &D Beyond does not like me today. So if he rolled a 1 plus 12, it's 13. I saw. <laughs> um, he was pretty fine anyway, wasn't he on health? Yeah. Yeah, he just, he could have done it though. He's got more health um, than anybody no, no. else's max apart from you. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> he's gonna go, go, he's gonna run, he's gonna run in and attack. Yep. Although Swang. he has to Christmas save first. Uh, right, nope, he's no, he's too save. cursed, right? Oh, he's, yeah, he's too cursed, yeah, is he? Yeah, he needs to make yeah, a Christmas save. Yeah, two curses, yeah, yeah, so that is... Nope, he failed it. Okay, he also stands still. Um, legendary action time. Um, she is going to attack Leobald. Okay. She teleports <laughs> when she attacks. And she don't like being in the middle of all of them. She is just dead because Leobald has been targeted. Oh, good times. And um, that's a 23 to hit you, Leobald? Uh, yeah, I can't stop that one. Okay. Uh, that's 17 slashing damage. That's oh. 8 damage then. Right. Yeah. Cool. And uh, it's your turn. <laughs> right. Uh, two cuss. Ah. That was me thinking you'd done really well to survive. <laughs> Oops. Uh, yes. That is uh, 8. Oh. Okay. <sighs> right. Oh, of course. Half to four, yes, you are still alive. <laughs> on you go. <laughs> Carry on, sire. Um, I just want to point out it is her turn next. Right. Good yes. luck. She's looking uh, wounded. Ish. Wounded. Well, I'm going to do something which feels really weird to be doing, but this is uh this is the moment. Oh yeah. We're going for the druid power. The elf power. Oh the druid craft? 
the mass cure wounds. Oh right, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, are you casting a druid grove at this I point mean, in no, time? Sorry, not druid one. Yeah, I was. I mean, I mean fucking the elf mm -hmm. druid thing. You know, the fucking how the innate power. Yeah. Yeah. Let's um go for the heal. Uh, that's gonna be every single person on our team. Eighteen health. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That means go through every character sheet and put eighteen mm -hmm. on. There's like twenty fucking character sheets now. I know. <laughs> Vrax isn't dead. He was a two HP. He's very happy. Yeah, I was a two HP as well. <laughs> yeah. Wait, um, that, that hit all the allies or just like? It does. Yeah. No, it hits everybody. It's mass kill. Oh no, it's six. It's six creatures, Jamal. Yeah. Oh, six creatures. Oh, really? Is it only six? Um, yeah, one of them's Vrax. So choose five. Yourself. That's four. <laughs> Uh, oh, is anybody shit, else I close to heal, two? I, I healed Braylon because I thought it was everyone. So, oh well, so just take sure. it down, off Braylon. It was eighteen. Just do him eighteen damage. Uh, he wasn't that low, but... Do him 18 damage anyway. Okay. For your own <laughs> idiocy. Um, okay, uh, I think it needs to be a Lari, Iona, Maverick. And... Yeah. Alamor. Yeah, let's go with that then. Okay, and Vrax. Yeah. Those look like the most nearly dead people. That's 18 health. Um, yeah. Uh... Right, I, the sad um, thing is, Vrax started with the second most HP, and uh, he's just been absolutely fucking battered this fight. Yeah. Uh, carry on. <laughs> As you um, were, you've got 20 HP and you're standing right next to her. Do you have a plan? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, I'm going to Misty Step. You're fucking not. What do you mean, no, I'm not? Well, you're not casting two spells in one fucking turn. What are you doing? Uh, wait. Oh, I can't, can't cast, cast two Misty spells in a turn, now. no. Uh, right, Would you like just... to provoke an opportunity attack? <laughs> uh, I would not like to provoke an opportunity attack. I would like to see what I have in a way of Fucking stand right there now. and look good. <laughs> That's what you've got right now. Uh, um, disengage isn't a bonus action, is it? It's only a normal action. Disengage? That's, yeah. A, that's yeah. a... Yeah, it's a normal action. Are you trying to use a bonus action? Uh, yeah... I believe uh, you I have, really have two weapon fighting? No, I don't. <laughs> nope, that's, that's the only... No, is it? Everybody has two weapon fighting. Um, but you... Yeah, that's it. That's all you've got. Uh, okay. Uh, there's one thing I am going to do. Uh-huh. We're going to try it. We uh -huh. are going to try it. Uh, where's that spell again? Let me just bring it back up spell, to what? get the specific... Uh, it's not a cast. It's okay. the hand that's still alive. Oh, Bigby's hand, yes. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna have the hand try to grab. I'm gonna fly over. Uh, it can move sixty feet in a turn, I believe. Yep. So it's gonna fly over and it's gonna try to grab her with a grapple. Okay. Uh, what's she it's? Did, it's she's smaller than huge, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, so she can be grappled. Yeah. Uh, it's a it's against the strength of twenty six. Yeah, no, she will fail that. Grapple. And use legendary resistance. She can legendary resistance straight out of grapple. Okay. In her second not... form. Well, is it? I don't know. Actually, it's not. A, I don't quite know how that works. It it's says when she fails attack. a saving throw, yeah, yeah, but she's, she's making an athletics check, right? So no, okay, that's a yeah. fail. Carry on. I need to use that legendary resistance at some point. Um, yeah, right, what okay. are you doing? <laughs> uh, no one uses spell saves! Carry yeah, on! Yeah, so she's gonna grapple the target, and she and the, it, the hand's gonna grapple the target and try to crush her as well. Um, so 2d6 plus my spell casting ability modifier. Okay, and which... grappled means she's prone, or she's restrained, or what? Um, Proceed she's under zero. the effects of any grapple. It's just a regular grapple, except it's by a gigantic fucking hand. Is grapple the condition now? It's a condition. So uh, the condition ends if the grappler is blah, blah, blah. Grapple creature becomes speed zero. It can't benefit from any bonus to its speed. Um, the effect also ends. So you just you just grapple. You're speed zero. You can't move anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's fine. She doesn't right. do moving. So the bonus is going to be a 2d6 plus spell casting ability modifier. So yeah. I'm going to roll quick 2d6. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's going to take nine bludgeoning. And now is going to be the moment where I try to do the stupid thing, and I'm going to run away. Now I'm going to try to provoke the attack of opportunity. She's not going to. She's not going to bite. She's fine. Okay. As you don't have Misty Step. That's crazy. Yeah, I had to, I had to do the heal, so that's why I couldn't Misty Step. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Cool. So yeah, I'll just run over there. Yeah. yeah. It's her turn. Okay, she's currently grappled by hand. That doesn't stop her from singing. True. No. Wisdom oh, saves, please. Work. 19. I'm gonna bloody die. <laughs> no. Yeah, well, you have failed. I'll break it. We love a nat 20. <laughs> 21. Yes. Okay. If you failed, um... I rolled it. I rolled a three. Okay. Oh, wait, uh, Neobot didn't get, to, didn't get to make the charisma save, or, or whatever the save was for the thing at the end of his turn. How many curses like... did you have? Two. Then you need to make a charisma save. Uh, yeah, oh, 17. Oh. You failed it. Easy. Okay. Fuck. Cool. You've just gone up to three, have you? Yeah, just gone okay. up to three. So anybody who had two or three curses and failed takes 42 radiant damage. That one is down. 42. That is what I said. Well, I then. am on two health. <laughs> I am on two health. <laughs> That's only if you had two and failed? That is if you had two or three and failed. If you had one and failed, you move up to two and you'll need to make a charisma save to attack directly. If you had zero, you will move up to one and have to uh, an attack and saving throw at disadvantage. By the way, those of you at one curse, are you remembering to make your saving throw for this at disadvantage to go up to two? Shoot. Nope. Yeah. Oh, that's still good. That's still good. Sick. Okay. Yeah, I may, I may not have taken two rounds of uh, damage because I didn't even get a turn to drink a potion because it reset mm -hmm. the fucking turn order, didn't it? Can she cast a spell while grappled? Uh, well, she's no longer mm -hmm. grappled because, um, hand. Oh, hand gone. Yes, you yeah. did. You did. Oh, she's not right grappled. Now. She's just going to hit some bitches, I think. I don't think she really wants to cast... In fact, she was going to cast a spell magic on Bigby's hand, so she's definitely not going to cast that. Um, the first attack will hit... Uh, who's this? Who's number four? Brayden. Um, she will teleport to Brayden. That is a... 17 to hit. I'm 99% sure that misses. Yes, it misses. Okay, cool. Jamal's sleepy. Um, second one is going on Brother Alari. Is Brother Alari alive to hit? Yep. Cool. I'm still alive. Uh, he Sorry, takes I was just trying to see who's got what 12 IP. 12 slashing damage. Updated. Is he oh. still standing? Still standing. She'll smack him again. Oh, no. That's a crit. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> That is... We need our healer. You've got two healers, you're fine. That's 20... 35 damage on the second one? Yes, I'm down. Okay, good. Right, I'm glad we got that done. Um, Iona's up. Well, I mean, she's not, but death safe. Iona's, is. yeah, she's down. Death safe for her. Mm -hmm. Uh, just roll my 20 here. Come on, girl. That's a nat one. Sick. That's two fails. That counts as two death saves. Two fails, yep. Okay. Um, Animal, you're up. Okay, so bonus action. The healing spirit is gonna heal. Um, a again, it doesn't Alari. heal. You just need to move it. So if it's next to Alari, it will heal him yeah. as soon as his turn is there and bring him up. Okay. So just leave it there. Um, okay, yeah. yeah, I'll leave it there and hope that she doesn't just try and kill Alari. <laughs> she won't. Um, she I don't do that, is it? In yeah. fact, fuck yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna move it back to Alamore, if I can, if I don't know. Yeah. Um, and then I am going to um, mask your runes, um, targeting the people who are down first, and then whoever's so lowest. So Iona, Alari, Rook, Leovold, and Maverick. Yeah. And one more. Um, oh, and one more, sorry. Um... How's Shakar looking? She's fine. Um, well, so is everyone else. Uh, Bonego, I guess? Because he's missing 80... Uh, he's missing 100 HP. Sure. Um, you all get 18. <laughs> cool! That's, uh, that's helpful. There you go, you got three healers, you're fine. <laughs> okay. So that concludes his turn. Uh... 
Yes, and then uh, he needs to make a wis uh, wisdom saving throw because he's on rank one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And he fails. Um, and then his a wisdom save? That's depressing. I know. Um, <laughs> and, then, and then his fire spirit. Wait, does his wildfire spirit not have an H? Oh, mind you, all I've thrown is fire damage. No, that's fine. Carry on. Um, yeah, it's going to attack. That's a 28 to hit. Mm -hmm. And that is, I always forget, a 1d6 plus 4. <laughs> Great, that's 5 fire damage. Okay. And that's the end of his turn. Okay, bonus action. Uh, legendary action, sorry. Um... Oh, uh, did you move the um, healing spirit back to Alamar? Oh, it moved to him? Okay, where's our Edward counter? There we go. That fucking prick. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Didn't like that guy. Uh, That's yeah, the healing cool. spirit. Healing spirit. Yeah, healing spirit, innit? Yeah, why have you put, him, why have you yeah, put the healing spirit over there? Because that's where Animor, isn't it? No, no that's not Animor, that's Rax. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, yeah, um, 136 Lucius Rook. Deck saves, please. Come on, I have not. That's a single fucking saving throw to have You said 136 or Iona? Uh, one, three, yeah, Iona, Bonego, Vrax, Lucius, Rook. Is this a 19? Uh, yes. Alright, I need to roll a 2 on my fucking emboldening bond to pass this. If I roll a 1, then. You do have I a pass. plus 1. I... Okay, if you. Oh, you're right. You yeah, a you have a plus 1, one anyway, the, uh... so that's fine. Um, so if That's you nice. rolled over a 19, you will take 12 damage that is split into 6 fire, 6 radiant. Okay? If you rolled below a 19, you will take 25 damage split into 13 fire, 12 radiant. Mm -hmm. Okay? Cool. Um, Broilin is up. Uh, is Broilin the heal other healer? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so uh, who's on the floor still? Uh, Vrax is dead. Like on the floor. Yeah, like, on the floor. Beacon of health. Maybe wait until after me. Uh, he has beacon of health. Beacon of hope. I do have beacon of hope. Yeah. Isn't he currently concentrating on holy weapon? Uh, yeah, I'm concentrating on holy weapon, but I'm not. I don't have beacon of hope. Cast. Oh, you're waiting for. You want him to wait for you to cast beacon of hope and hold an action. Yes, and then pop some better heals because I'm not concentrating on anything okay. right now. Cool. Right. Cool. Okay. In that case, I will hold one of my bon I'll hold a hold a uh an yeah action. hold a bonus action heal. Oh, a bonus action heal. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I can hold that right. And leave your spiritual weapon sitting there looking lonely. Yeah, sure. You can hold an action if you want. Oh, mask uh, your I, wounds if you want. Mask your wounds, yes. <laughs> uh, I can't mask your wounds. Why? I don't have spell slots. You've used both his spell slots? Yeah. On what? Guiding Bolt? No, no, a spiritual weapon, and then um, there was a... Uh, what was it? A uh, fucking uh, holy weapon. You spiritual weapon at the fifth level? Yeah. You, sir, are a fucking beast. <laughs> <laughs> you took my life, Cleric, and you cast Spiritual Weapon at the fifth level. I fucking love you. You're my favorite person in the world. You may control him every single time we ever use him again. <laughs> okay, so he's holding a bonus action. What's he doing with his action? That's not uh, no, a spell. He can hold his action. He's going to bonus action swing with a Spiritual Weapon. Okay, cool. Swing on. That's a uh, 27 to hit. Yeah. And that's going to be another 11 damage. Okay. <laughs> And uh, who's on the ground? Uh, uh, Vrax. Only Vrax. Only Vrax. Right, he's going to rush over to Vrax and hold his action for when it comes to Alari. Okay, cool. Um, she will take a legendary action. Her last. Okay. Where's that douche that healed everyone earlier? Oh! Oh, look, she's already standing over his head. Oh, nice. Oh, no. That's a 29 to hit. <laughs> yeah, it's going to hit. That's 15 damage. Please tell me I'm you still up. survived. Yes, okay, very good. Um, Maverick, you're up. <clears throat> okay, I am going to um, use two sorcery points to use this as a bonus action. Yep. I'm going to false life myself again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> For 20 
temp HP. No, let's go. At this point, mm. it's just to spite James for saying that Maverick was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave this fight better off than everyone. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, and then I will... Oh, how much necrotic damage? Oh, yeah. One curse, two curse? Uh, one curse. Six. And that's half to three. Okay. Um, and then... Well, oh, this that's what's going to kill it. Brother Alari. That's beautiful. <laughs> that's beautiful. Does he's not cursed! Is... Shit, he's not cursed! Does the 23 hit? <laughs> yes. Okay, great. That is for necrotic damage. Bang him. Jankwe. One curse, two curse, three curse, Jankwe. Oh, yeah, I need to make a wisdom to him, bro. Yes, you do. Yeah, I failed it. Okay, cool. Jankwe, one curse, two curse, three curse. Uh, two curse. Okay. Um, yeah. Let me bonus Sorry, action guys, hiding. Nearly there. Nine damage. Bonus action hiding, charisma mm -hmm. save. Uh, no. No. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Is it a charisma save again to get out, or? Is he? He's two curse. It's a charisma save. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that's a net twenty. Cool. Um, he's cleansed. Cool. Uh, Brother Alari, one curse, two curse, three curse, no curse. No curse. No curse. The, the beast of saving throws himself. It's your turn. I take one step back. Just do I to get an opportunity attack, or yes. can I just like her to not be breathing down my neck? No. Okay. <laughs> no, she will literally eat you alive if you take a step back. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna cast Beacon of Hope. <laughs> Yeah, I wish she had kind of spell. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep, that's cool. Uh, I'm going to really apologize to everybody. So this is only 30 feet, so I think it will get that clump of people behind me. Okay. Um, well, good news. I'm yeah. concentrating, so if you get close enough. Okay. Brains, um, uh ready to action triggers. Okay. Perfect. A healing who? That's... Wasn't it Vrax? Vrax, yeah, for yeah, 43. Okay, great. Alari's still got 3 HP. Um, cool. Uh, thank you very much. Vrax is alive. Just real quick, uh, so I totally missed this part, but uh, everybody also now has advantage on wisdom saving throws. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Wait, what did what did Beacon of Hope do though? What was the first part? Uh, all healing is max, and uh, yeah. Uh, advantage on wisdom and death saving throws. Yeah. Hmm. So how much heal do we get? No, it doesn't heal you. Oh, never mind. No, it doesn't heal you. You are still yeah, in just as some. much trouble. Jamal healed Vrax. Which I is the great, because Vrax has a lot of damage, but that's about it. Uh, Kenna, one, one cast, two cast, three cast. Sorry, Brother Larry, did you have a, any other action going on there? Or are you just going to stand uh, there and pray? I don't have any bonus actions. You're any standing interest. there and praying. Got it. I'm Kenna, you're up. Finger guns at the giant lady. Uh, one curse. Uh, one cast, two cast. <laughs> Shakar is going to move under underneath Alari, and instead of doing a regular attack, she's going to attempt to shove the um, <laughs> woman away. Okay, I love it. Uh, what's that, an athletics check? Uh, uh, or acrobatics. Oh, I'm going to save. Sorry, ignore that. That's uh, 18 minus 6. That's a 12. Oh, nice. That was a 17. Okay. So, uh, she shoved 5 foot away. Oh. Uh, and I will run up to Alari and dump my potion of superior healing in his mouth. Same thing on my turn. Yeah. <laughs> A beautiful moment of friendship, <laughs> love, and peace. Uh, what's the heal on that? Um, is it going to take me a while? I only have so many d4s. So it's the maximum um, number of hit points for any healing. Oh, all right. Uh, the max number... So that's 40. 40, right? 8 times 40? 4 40. plus 8 is 40, Promise yeah. you, yeah. Cool. And it's 30 feet range, yes? Uh, wisdom save at the end of your turn, Kenna. With advantage. What's a 30 feet range? Oh, Beacon of Hope, yes. It's on him. Do you have advantage, though? Because Actually... isn't it at disadvantage? Straight. Oh, you're right. Straight. Yeah, it's a straight roll. Plus um, one. However, I'm actually going to use my bonus action... Uh, to cast lightning arrow. Cool. Uh, wait. I had no idea you had that. No, I'm not, because my action's gone. 
No, you're gonna cast Lightning Arrow, not not to sack, and don't you still have Hunter's Mark on her? I do. Yeah. Cool. I would have been fine losing it, but No no I know, but just in general, yeah. Um Cool. Yeah, no, that's all okay. I'm gonna do. Cool. Uh wisdom save, did you succeed? That's your single uh, no. wisdom save? No. Killian, you're up. One one curse, two curse, three curse? No curse. No curse! What a beast! No Kevin curse. Alari just but killing no, on this. No yeah. Um yeah, uh since Iona's looking a little bit, oh no, she's not looking all that great. But she's I have faith in my friends. Um, I'm Someone's going gotta to do the damage, right? Yeah, I'm gonna run up to the boss, and um, I still have holy weapon, right? Braylon, uh, Braylon passes constructs, this concentration sex. Okay. He's, um, well, I'm, I'm gonna say yes. He, he needed to roll like a ten with advantage. He's fine. Yeah, cool. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. all right. Uh, Resplendent. Did he hold a spell? Does that require concentration? He held an action. It does. It does. But holding an action requires concentration. Holding a sp if you hold the spell, yes, it requires concentration. It's technically a concentration. Yeah. No, you don't have holy weapon. Go. Okay. Uh, that's the case. Uh, then I'm, as I'm running, I'm going to call for for my sheath and pull out the sunblade. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to attack. Twenty five on the first to hit. Uh, you're rolling with this. No, you're not rolling with this. Nope. Yeah, cool. And now twenty hit. on the second. That'll hit. Um. Time some of this okay. damage. Oh. okay. So let me go. This. Is she technically undead or no? No, she's not. Okay. Okay. Um. So she takes twenty nine points of slashing damage. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm also going to pump a key point into it in order to activate my Kente slash. Which, uh, the key fuel, is it key fuel? It's one of these moves here. Uh, it allows me to add a 1d6 to it, but since it's crit. Oh, we're rolling the crit damage first. I see, yeah. That was yeah, terrifying uh, for a moment. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, uh, uh next to 10 points. Of, That's 39, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, then here is my regular attack for the first one that hit. Yeah, that, that makes, that's a far less terrifying. Uh, uh 15 points of, uh, really. yeah. Um, I believe it's radiant. Uh, yeah, radiant. Yeah, What's a radiant fine. damage? As long as it's not psychic, uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, and then I am going to let me see what we got here. Um, I think I'm okay actually. Um, since I'm right in front of her, uh, I'm going to spend a key point and I'm going to do patient defense. Mm -hmm. Okay. How right, does that complete your turn? Mm. I'm going to shift. Uh, I'm going to shift around her though to the. Actually, no, no. I'm gonna stay there. I wanna. I wanna. I wanna, I wanna be in in between her and Alari. Okay. Rook. Q. I'm 19 dead. points of necrotic damage. Yeah, I'm dead. Banago, one cast, two cast, three cast. Uh, three curse. Banago. Twenty. Oh, all right. Hold on, hold on, and I'll come back to him in a second. Oh, Varax is up. Okay, he's back down to eighteen. Wait, did Raylan never pop his healer? He did on Varax. He just healed Varax. <laughs> Varax is down, so I picked him up. Oh. Uh. Yeah, yeah, of course. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I'm thinking of him as three curse, but he's not at all. Okay, cool. Uh, Vrax is going to teleport behind him. Behind her, sorry. Uh, that's a 3d8. 46. Where did that go? What? Where did the 46 go? It's fucking vanished off the screen. Let's roll it again. That's 14, that's 20, 33, 33 plus 2, 8, 39, 49 damage. Oof. Yeah. That is Vrax, right? Yeah, he, he does damage, but he just... Yeah, he it, does that's damage. That's all he does. Uh, Benego, go. Alright. Um, Walk up and make that charisma save, right? <laughs> He's got a minus one charisma. <laughs> he does have a minus one charisma. <laughs> This is ex uh, just a heads up. When I controlled, when I controlled, uh, Benego, he got to this point and he never ever attacked again until he died. And then he got rest up and then he got to attack again. He was really happy. <laughs> well, maybe it's a good that Roof died too because his charisma is also minus one. 
It's right, not good. It's not good. Seven on the charisma save. Okay. Um. See. See you next round. <laughs> okay. Uh, Leovold, one cast, two cast, three cast. Uh, I was down, so I picked up. So does that clear it or? That clears it. That clears it. Okay, it's your turn. Right. Uh, I'm going to walk forward just enough to make sure that I am in range to be able to get the uh, full effect beacon of hope for this. I'm going to drink a superior potion real quick. Yep. No, sorry, not a superior. I'm going to drink a greater potion. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so that's 20 healing. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Give me a quick check. Who's uh, the most battered here? Rook's on the floor. I'm dead. Rook's on the floor. Right. Oof. Yeah, there's no 18. way. There's no way I can get to Rook right now, yeah. uh, so I can't. Try to worry about you with 15 foot of rest. movement speed, you can get to exactly Shakar and. Yeah, I'm not going to get in melee range right now. Uh, what I am going to do is. Uh, do oh, you're trying to cast the a spell. One thing that I can do, I'm going to cast a spell. Yeah. A range spell. Yeah. Okay, go on. Uh, this is going to be a single target one rather than jumping mm -hmm. to anyone, but chain lightning. Oh, okay. Yep. Cool. About time you did some damage. Yeah, let's see. How much does this one do? Come on, please be above 40. 51 damage. And she makes her dex save here. DC 18. And 20. She takes zero damage. Zero? <laughs> it's only half damage on a successful. Oh. I'm joking. Um, it's 25, yeah? Cool. Yeah, 25. <laughs> okay, cool. She was part rogue. Uh, no. Um, so, she is now... Uh, does that end your turn? Mabel. Uh, yeah, bonus okay. action, chuck to throw a potion down my throat, and yep. then regular action went from the spell, yeah. She now sings again, I need charisma saves. If you are currently not alive, this is the first time this has happened, you will be unable to receive any healing, but unable to make any death saving throws. Okay? So you will not gain any more death saving throws, but you will not receive any healing. So, Rook, you're out the fight, I'm afraid. Okay? Fight. Cool. Um, Still got Bonego. Uh, is anybody now gone up to three curses? Benego's already at three curses. Yes, uh, he is. That is right. If you are at three curses, you will take... Oh, oh, that's a big roll. That's 55 Jeez. radiant damage. If you're at three curses. I, or if you I failed your Benego. second. Benego's, I lied, Benego's dead too. So <laughs> if you go from two to three... <laughs> if you go from two to three, or if... <laughs> I can't concentrate. If you go from two to three, or if you're at three, you will take 55 radiant damage. I own her. Oh, no, never mind. She's still got a fucking turn. Let's do that. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, what's, what's the penalty now for being on two? For two? Raven? It's exactly the same. Uh, uh, it's, damage. A it's just a... No, it's 44 and a charisma save to attack her directly. Got it. Got it, got it. Um, she's going to make her first attack on... Where the fuck is she? She's over there. Uh, first attack on Lucius Killian. Disadvantage. Disadvantage? Okay, cool. That's a 23 to hit. Oh, yes. All right. Take 20. Okay. Uh, second one is going to be on Varax. That's a miss. Um, third attack is going to be on number three. Uh, no, wait. Benego's dead, right? Yes. Yeah, he's down, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, who else can she see? Shakar? Is a 15 hit Shakar? Uh, no. We've never had to think about her armor class before. Have we? <laughs> she just happened to be in range. I looked at her. I was like, yeah, sure, you'll do. Um, I only are up. I only is up. Oh, so, I'm sorry. For If you failed it, how much did she take? She had, this is her first, this would be her first curse because she went down and got back up. Yeah, so she just, uh... She doesn't take any damage. Cursed. She just gets okay. cursed, disadvantage on okay. attack rolls, and she will take um, 2d4 damage now. Okay. Which is okay. three. Three damage. Um, Iona's not looking too good. Iona is going to move next to the healing spirit. Okay. Healing. Um, the healing spirit. Um, and wait to get a little, get touched a little bit. Um, okay. Uh, she's just it, moved into range of it, so, um, Josh? Yes. Can you roll the healing for her? Are you going to heal Ayana or no? She sure. just ran all the way over to use the healing. Um, she'd be a bit pissed if you don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Uh, that is 11. And all that's right. the last one. 
All right, okay. that's gonna be. She only has forty five feet. Um, that's gonna be enough, I think. Yes. How, how much is that? She like doesn't. She has. Um, she has the drunken thing as well. So I think it's fifty five oh. feet. Okay, so she's gonna yeah. move right up behind Alari. Mm -hmm. Um, that should be within ten feet, and she's going to spend a key point of our bonus action to activate Ashla self. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, when you said she was a minor heart, I really wanted, was ready for you to just go and punch him in the head. <laughs> Let's go. Um, Smack away. Um, okay, so one thing is, she, uh, Lady Fury has to make a... I always forget what this Con is. Con save? Yeah. A, no, no, no. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Dex save, dex save. Uh, that's a nat 20 save. for a 29. Oh, okay, she takes nothing. Um, And she is going to attack from 10 feet with the Astral Fists. Uh, with disadvantage. Mm -hmm. That's a miss. That's also a miss. Okay, they all miss. They all miss. They all miss. Um, and that's going to be her for right now. Okay, Alamo. One curse, two curse, three curse. Uh, he's on two. Okay. Uh, so how much damage? He takes nine. Okay. Um, <laughs> how's everyone looking? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've got a few people alive. Um, I almost, meh. Um, I almost, yeah. Uh, Killian's half health. Um, Leobald is just above half health. Uh, Janko is Keno down. is unfazed. Jankway can't be. When did he go down? Uh, he was not oh. by the 55. Okay, Jankway can be healed. And brought up as can Benego. Um, okay, then uh, he will uh, uh, bonus action healing word uh, Benego for. I would suggest oh. doing Jankway because Benego can't uh, pass any saving throws anyway. He can pass and the he's... original saving throws now. He will be clean of all saving throws. Benego does a lot of damage. Get him up. It's fine. Okay, that's 13 health to him. Yep. Um, and Ooh. then... Uh, we also have three clerics. Somebody will get out. That's a nat 20 for a 30. Okay, but he's um, too cursed, no? He needs to make a charisma save first. Oh, fuck. It's a 16. That's fuck a fail. He won't be attacking. Fuck your nat 20. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> he can have still up. Uh, yes, but that doesn't help him with a charisma save. And then doesn't it I... help with the healing, though? Uh, yeah, the oh, yeah. healing word was, in fact... Maximized? 16, 21, so that's an extra 8 health for Benego, please. Uh, carry on, uh, Josh, or have you got nothing left to do? Uh... Is Alamore done? Yeah, and then he's fired. Make a charisma save on him at the okay. end of his turn. That's a 17. He's still cursed. Fire, yep. fire thing. Yep. Which is... That doesn't attack with disadvantage, which is nice. No. That's 27. Yep. And that's... I really like using that 20 there, shouldn't I? Uh, eight damage. fire damage. Eight damage. Fire damage. Okay. Cool. Um, she is looking severely wounded, by the way. I thought I should mention that. Reminded <laughs> there is some hope in the world. I um, fucking hope so. <laughs> Braylon. Um... Jankway's on the floor still, yes? Yes. And it is uh, his brother. No. So yes, you, he would do exactly that. Yeah, running over, <laughs> immediately cure wounds. Okay. Um, where the fuck heal. are these two people? Four is running to five. Yes, got you. Um, it's max. So what's the healing at? 34. Well, I just had a number on my tip of my tongue. 34? 34. Cool. Thank you. And the bonus action is going to be another attack with a spiritual weapon against the boss. Right. Yeah. That's a 30 hit. That will definitely hit. That's a 16 hit. Yeah. Cool. Right. And uh, do I need to roll Any curses, curses, by the way? I curse two. Yeah. Uh, he's on two. Sorry. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's a, spiritual weapon's a really nice way around that. Uh, nine uh, necrotic damage he takes and then roll a yep. charisma save. Uh, that's a six, 17. He fails. Yep. Uh, Maverick, one curse, two curse, three curse? Two. Ooh, still not got up to three. 
A shame. Uh, that is eight damage. Which is half to four. Yeah, and you're up. Okay, so I need to. I'll make the charisma save now. To hit. Mm -hmm. Which is the 26. Yep. Cool. So I, I want to move so I'm uh, within 30 feet of her. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, and she needs to make a con save. If she makes an advantage. Uh, it's a 24 or 26, whichever you prefer. That is... Oof! Wait, that wait, is... no, no, hold on. Is that necrotic damage? Yes. Okay, you know you can re-roll a 1, yeah? Yeah, I know. I was just counting it. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Yeah, uh, so that's 34 uh, necrotic damage, which is then half because she passed. Yep, 17. Ooh, yep. She is in trouble. Oh, sorry, that was as a bonus action I used. Okay. Um, and then... Uh, and then, does an 18 hit? No. Okay, then, yeah, that's his okay. turn. Uh, legendary action. No, wait, she used, she used flame strike this turn? No, she hasn't. She's still got these. Um... Maverick, that is a 31 yeah, to, to hit you. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just do my save first. Christmas save. No, I my save. Um, what's your save? It's a 31 to hit you. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's 19 Sh damage. Mate, I ain't bothered. Down quick. <laughs> no curses. Off he goes. Uh, if no curses, then he'll just do a run by pass uh, flanking with Maverick if he can. Mm hmm. Well, they're giving you advantage in the sneak attack. Please don't be completely on the top side of the boss if you can help it. That's a 25 to hit. He's going to keep running, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's okay. Going, he's going out the other way. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you. That's uh, a 12. No, oh, I forgot to do this. Or the acid. 18, 12. 30 piercing. Nice. Nine acid. Plus Perfect. twelve. No, plus twelve necrotic. That I'm okay. gonna react with okay. necrotic. Beating. At which point, she pushes back these two people. It's always shoving me she around. She calls out. She calls out a singular word. And she disappears. Oh, thank God. I thought she was going to power and kill all of us there. <laughs> I, thought she, I thought he was about to roll a power call. Oh, my sure. God. Brother Alari, can I have an insight check with advantage, please? Uh, uh, you sure. can make this on Braylon as well, please. Expertise on that for some fucking reason. Any cleric. Uh, insight. Yeah. Uh, advantage or just regular? Advantage. Okay, well, the best one I've got is a uh, 19. Uh, Laurie? Go on, Laurie. D8 both times. 28? Oh. Yes, she's just cast Word of Recall. And we will find Let's out where she is now. next episode. Dang it. What does that do, Word of Recall? Uh, it returns her to a singular place of her choosing. Instantaneously. Oh, she's in a castle! Oh, house. House. She, you cannot teleport into the castle, I will give you that. Oh, but okay, she's then. probably at the front door, and you're an hour away. Oh, son of a bitch. So, but we will see phase three. Teleport me. Phase three. Next session. Phase three? The fuck? The final phase, I will promise you. Of Lady Fury, but with the castle at her defense. However, we've run quite late enough. We will start that yeah. at the beginning of next session. So, I come to our MVPs. I'll start with Matt. He was going I, through it. I, I just gotta say that this is the first D and D campaign I've ever played, and I've never been so stressed in my goddamn life. So, 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 so James, you're doing a fantastic job. In all job fairness, haven't you kind of been completely blithe about every fight we've ever fought so far until now? Yeah, I don't think I've, okay. I, I don't ever take damage, and today you just killed me. Mm -hmm. So that was fantastic. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Um, 
I am um, a oh god, I don't know. Yeah. I really enjoyed having a minus one on a charisma saving throw all day on a nineteen <laughs> That's on rough. both characters. That was the Yeah, that is harsh. And well worth But no, Miami P goes to I think this is a really cool battle. I think you set it up very nicely. Thank you. I really I really enjoy this fight. Good. Even though I didn't do anything. No, really cool. I don't know, you soaked a lot of damage. Um, no, I didn't. I didn't ever attack. <laughs> uh, You're right. No, you soaked I damage, never I said. You soaked it. You took it. You oh, took it I well. It. Uh, that's all you did, uh, Josh. Yep. Your MVP. Um, well, first of all, truly being the master of life and death over here, surviving everything. It is the first time dying. Maverick has ever survived till phase three. Going in all the way down and then all the way back up again. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I ended that bottle on 41 out of 47 health. I mean, come on now. Yep. Um, but probably, like, I think, like, the, the fight was a lot of fun. Like, it was tense, but, like, in a really exhilarating way like it wasn't like oh this is impossible it was like a really mm -hmm. like good thing um but yeah i'm just gonna give it to myself for you killing me off in practices and then me surviving the whole time <laughs> yeah no that's fine i like it uh kira um oh the, the fight's definitely fun uh, i like the leveling of curses thing um that the mechanic's really cool um uh, Killian putting it worked in his fight though. Woo. Um, you know, being so damage. far soul damage. <laughs> uh, I know Pretty the, much. Shikar, like Shakar has done. Shakar Vrax, Vrax has done one hundred and fifty. And Jankway. Vrax too. Stuff. Okay, no, I'm not saying you. I was getting to you. I was getting to you. <laughs> As the like, cannon is doing damage. All I I just didn't have my battle buddy Rook over here. Olari also. Olari definitely fucking on the MVPs too. Uh, the whole fucking run through healing people. I love it. Yeah, um, <laughs> he just puts on his dancing shoes and he's out. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that. Um, also enjoyed the uh, the the diaries. Uh, I mm. like going into all that stuff. So, um, because you know, also I'm being so game, glad. I know exactly I'm so glad it was you who did it. So I was really glad that like it was somebody who I knew would bite, and I'd be able to play with it. Yeah. I appreciate yeah, so that. That's sort of thing. I like the diaries and everything mm. like that. Um, huh. I don't know if you're gonna let me do it, but mm -hmm. we'll see. We'll get to that. Okay. Cool. Um, I will tell you one thing actually, midway through this MEPs. Um, I mentioned Rook, you were out of the fight. You're not out of phase three. You will be able to get picked up. Yeah, good. I was um, hoping that was case. But there will be no it. regaining of any spell slots, by the way. Okay. Cool. So, uh, I was, so, so I was just out of this part of the fight. Yeah, yeah, just out of this phase. Does that uh, does that hour walk there count as a short rest or no? It will do. Yes. Okay, um, somebody needs to expend. Actually, can we just do that? Can one person expend one level one spell slot to pick Rook off Rook up off the ground, please? Yes. Do that. Okay, Keno. That's a good. That's a good yeah. candidate. Fantastic. Thank you very much. You can uh, still up too, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, so it's the max healing on a kill wound. So we so we can all 12. max our hit dice right now on our short dice to get our. Sure, I right? don't think it works like that. I don't think Alari can short rest and maintain Beacon of Hope for a start. Oh, Beacon of Hope no, but we can really quickly. Ah, uh, yes. So it will end as soon as the fight ends. Oh, okay, okay. Cool. Okay, but, so um, 12 yeah. health. Yeah. And then the short rest. Yeah. Um, I suggest you short rest and expend all your hit point dies. Um, so, Brother Alari, MVP. Yeah. Uh, so my MVP is going to, of course, it was a great fight. Um, I especially love her deciding to call down raining fire on her own head just to spite us. Um, and my secondary MVP goes to um, Rook, Master of Riddles. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'd forgotten about that. God, that was hours ago. Um, <laughs> yep, I like that one. Uh, Keno, Elora, your MVP. Um, I'm going to take us back a bit to Ra Rax being sucked into a wall and we're all standing there trying to figure out what the heck's going on and then in comes Maverick in a chef hat and a chef's apron after he's gone off to loot. That was my MVP. Uh, yep, Jamel? Uh, out of curiosity, how much damage did Braylon do in that fight? Damage? Yeah. Oh, like 60, 50. Oh, respectable man then. Yeah, something like that. Well, I mean, you guys managed to blitz through 900 hit points, by the way. I thought it was Jeez. about that, yeah. It was a 400 and a 500. Yeah, I thought it was around that. So, yeah. 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, my MVP is going to have to go to um, just how fucking brutal the fight is. It's a good fight, but it's brutal. Yes, mm, good. Uh, my MVP then will go to. Uh, I'm going to cast Beacon of Hope. Can you hold your action? Oh wait, he dropped holy weapon. <laughs> Saved his action. <laughs> and what did he do? He healed Brax. <laughs> Alari had three hit points, and you healed Brax. Good dude. <laughs> you can control all my clerics from now on. You're my favorite cleric. You expended your fifth level spell slot on spiritual weapon. And my MVP goes to Jamal for controlling the heal cleric in that manner. Nevertheless, the fact that we have Alamor, who's half healer, Braylon, who's a life cleric, Brother Larry, who's a peace cleric, um, Kenna, who heals people off the floor, and we use a supreme and a greater healing potion. She might have taken 900 damage, but my fucking god, how much did she do? Oh, I'm looking forward to phase three. <laughs> phase two, she was stronger I'm... than phase one, so... I'll have fun with phase three. Shit. I'm not excited for phase two, because she'll be inside the castle. She will be. Uh, which means she won't be alone. I mean, the, the good also, is... We might not be alone either. We might have her a Quick reveal. Who, who knows? The good news is we can, always, we can always just all make sure we're all topped up before we go in, so, you know. Uh, yes, <laughs> but you uh, also don't get any spell slots back. True. Um, there will be the battle map for the final phase. She will be awaiting you, right? If she makes it inside, we do have there. scrolls of teleportation. Hmm. What's we'll shit? Yeah, teleport right to draft now. You can teleport that. right the fuck there right now if you want, but you won't get your short rest. <laughs> and she will come back at full HP, so have fun with that. Um, I look forward to next again? week. No, no, she was 400, phase one. 500, phase two. She'll have her oh, phase so three hit points. 2,000. She will be ready for you. Uh, just for reference, those are gargoyles and those are armors. Yes, we've been here before. We'll have fun. This is where you sat, by the way, Rook. With your crown and scepter. And Kira said to me, what is, there, what, is there anything else in the room? And I'm sitting there thinking, I can't bring the battle map up. Uh... Fuck, do it from memory. Who was it? Okay, um, thank you so much, guys, for playing. Um, it was a five-hour session when four people turned up exhausted in the first place and one was asleep when we started. Um, total pleasure to have you all here. Um, we should have added an extra MVP for Jamal sleeping through the first half of the session. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my bad on that I, one. I did not realise what the fuck was happening. I look forward to seeing you all next week. Um, did we... We're, we're not playing next week, I thought. I will discuss that off-stream. Um, you do not level up in the middle of a fight, ever. Middle of a fight, she flees, the fight's over. <laughs> She's not dead, you didn't kill anything, why should you get any XP? I think we all learned. Thank you very <laughs> much for playing, uh, thank you very much for being here, and yeah, we look forward to seeing you soon. If you guys would like to say goodbye. 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 Next time.